Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for some high school football on KC 105 tonight from the fairgrounds in Caldwell. The Caldwell Redskins will host the Connaughton Valley Rockets. I'm Bill Kassler. Joining me tonight, John Sechrist. And John, you know, a lot of people hear that the Redskins are playing Connaughton Valley. The Rockets traditionally not one of the better teams in the area. Last year, they were a playoff team. This year, they're three and two. Now, they're a small squad, but I'll tell you something right now. They've got really got some talented people as far as uh, on, the, on the offense goes. So they've got some good skill people, problems on the line, but a good football team. This might be a test tonight for Caldwell. Well, that's one of the things, too, that the Redskins lost last year, too, is a lot of their linemen are young, uh, uh, sophomores and, and a freshman uh, thrown in on the line this year, getting a lot of playing time. So uh, that has, uh, you know, something that they've been trying to nurse along uh, also. And, uh, you know, this is uh, really, uh, Bill, the first team that the Redskins have played that has a winning record. Yes, so, it'll uh, be a little bit, little bit of a test, I think, yeah, here tonight. Uh, so, yeah, it, it could very well be, and I think it's one that uh, – the big one coming up next week, the Redskins realize against Barnesville. But, uh, you know, if they look past Connaughton Valley, they may not have to worry about Barnesville. Yeah, no doubt about that. And, you know, when I, I, I did uh, briefly talk with Coach Chance Rucker before the game. And I'll tell you something he said. He said, look, we've got to take care yeah. of business tonight. It is very important because I'll tell you something right now. These guys are not a bad football team. All right. And right now we are uh, preparing for the national anthem as the Caldwell Marching Band plays the alma mater. So with that, we're going to take a quick break. We'll step out for just a minute. We'll be back with more from the fairgrounds right after this. Hey, football fans, laborers, Local 530 in Zanesville, Ohio, is cheering on all the local high school teams this year. Serving Muskingum, Perry, Noble, and Guernsey counties, Local 530 represents around 400 skilled men and women in the building and construction trades. They work with over 100 signatory contractors, providing committed and experienced laborers for building, heavy highway, and pipeline construction. For more information, give them a call at 740-453-1214. Good luck to all the teams from Laborers Local 530. Davis Drug offers a personal commitment to their customers and community. Their services include home infusion therapy and vaccinations for flu, pneumonia, and shingles. For home care, they have lift chairs, hospital beds, walkers, and wheelchairs. And that's not all. Davis Drug carries home nursing supplies, diabetic shoes, respiratory equipment, and a full line of vitamins and over-the-counter products. Davis Drug, located at 109 West Street in Caldwell, caring for you and about you. Go online to mydavisdrug.com to find out more. Hi, I'm Crystal Reynolds for Cedar Ridge Behavioral Health Solutions. Our goal is to support health and treatment for you. And that is why we are proud to announce the opening of the Residence at Cedar Ridge, a 15-bed detoxification facility now open in Cambridge. We accept anyone in the state of Ohio and offer transportation. The Residence at Cedar Ridge will provide 24-hour care and attention based on your needs. To schedule an intake, call the Residence at Cedar Ridge. The first step to recovery, call 855-692-7247. Everyone's looking for an encouraging sign in today's economy. The fact is, you'll find one right here in Caldwell at State Farm Sue Snow's office. Because State Farm agents like Sue have been here helping people protect the things that matter most. That's why more people trust State Farm, and they consider that a very good sign. See State Farm agent Sue Snowd at 400 East Street, Caldwell. Sue Snowd State Farm is a proud supporter of high school sports. Just like on the field, we believe in teamwork with our customers. This is Ashley Rich from the Farmers and Merchants Bank on the Square in Colwell. With our services, you can bank from your home, the office, or even at the stadium. You can sit back and enjoy the game knowing your money is in great hands. Good luck to all the local teams this year from everyone at the Farmers and Merchants Bank. Member FDIC. I was sitting in my car, and it wouldn't start. I lifted the hood, and the engine was falling apart. What would I do? My eyes filled with tears. And on the radio, I heard of West 40 by pay here. Where for a little money down, and a little each week, I could have a car, nice, shiny, and sleek. So I walked in the door, and I put the money down. 
Yeah. Now, I got a nice car that I can drive around. Was 40 by pay here. We'll help rebuild your credit. The corner of Dewey and Route 40 in Cambridge. Don't you forget it. West 40 Auto Sales, corner of Route 40 and Dewey Avenue in Cambridge, is home of a guaranteed credit approval, with most loans approved while you wait. Go to their website to fill out an online loan application, west40autosales.com. You'll also find their weekly special listed there. Welcome back. We're at the fairgrounds in Caldwell, and you can hear the noise, the excitement of the Redskins taking the field. Bill Casper, John Seekers with you here. Caldwell getting ready to take on Connaughton Valley. A lot of activity on the football field tonight, John. I'll tell you something right now. We've got band alumni. We've got uh, junior cheerleaders, and we've got we've got all kinds of action Almost down there. Almost fill up the football uh, field. I'll tell you something yeah. right now. It's a nice sight, too. And, of yes. course, the band's still out there as well. So, uh, yeah, a lot of activity here tonight. But let's get back to the football game. Uh, main reason that we are here tonight, and, of course, the Redskins do come in unbeaten 5-0, and so they're undefeated to the midway point of the year. And, of course, we were talking with Coach Rucker, and uh, he basically said, look, hey, we got to take care of business tonight. The other thing when I talked to him, he said he felt that the matchups favored his football team I'm inclined to agree oh I think that uh, probably uh, almost uh, every position the Redskins uh, outside of some of the interior line I can't go that deep but skill positions the Redskins are going to match up pretty much with anybody uh, with experience at the skill positions is you know you go back to Kale Bender who's uh, started for three years and uh, you know, he's, he's just nothing but solid as, as the quarterback, and he is a threat to either run or throw, and, and, and that will put pressure on Connaughton Valley's defense. So, uh, you know, that's uh, – I, I think uh, I would have to agree with the coaching staff that uh, the balance of uh, skill people favor, favor the Redskins, but – the Redskins need to get out to a good start, Bill, because a team like Connaughton Valley, you let them hang around. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I'm sure that uh, the coaches at Connaughton Valley say, that we just want to be in it and have a chance to win at the end. Well, you know, I'll tell you something. Uh, getting Making the playoffs last year, that was the first time that Connaughton Valley has ever made the playoffs. Now, this year their goal is to make the playoffs and to win to a win. game yeah. in the playoffs. So. You know, a good goal for the year, but they're starting to believe down there that they can win. And when I talked to Coach Derek O'Hara, who's in his first year, he basically said that we tried at the beginning of the year to be a pass-heavy team. Last year they were a run-heavy team. They had a lot of experienced offensive linemen, lost a lot of those linemen. Now they still got some good skill people, but they're having problems protecting the quarterback. So they've gone to a mix of run and pass. He said for his football team, Line play will be the key. Well, and uh, <laughs> that's kind of a catch-all because I'm, the Redskins coach, coaches feel pretty much the same way, uh, and they have all season long. It's uh, controlling the line of scrimmage, and uh, you know, with uh, inexperienced kids, uh, sometimes sometimes that becomes hard to do. But uh, you know, when you look out at Canton Valley, though, Bill, boy, no depth. Yeah, hey, and that no, is, yeah. with that point, the end of the Chandler Funeral Home pregame show. We appreciate them for uh, bringing the pregame yeah. show. Getting ready now for the Doan Ford opening kickoff. Yeah, that's Peffer, Chaz yeah, Peffer. Yeah, Chaz, I'll tell you what, it's good to have a soccer program, yeah. and we are underway. underway. And the Rockets have the football. Let's see. I thought it looked like that might have been number 21. That's, that's Brooks, number two. Or number two, that's Noah, Smith. Noah Smith. That's one of the running backs. Now, the Smith brothers are the running backs. It's Luke and Noah. I thought Luke, they were cough drops. Luke, yeah, Luke is number, yeah, they are, but Luke is number six, and Noah's number two. Noah is the senior. So you'll see both of them in a tailback tonight, and they're pretty much a key okay. feature of the lineup. Quarterback, though, is an experienced yes. QB, number yep. 10, Zach Putnam. Yep, and he's in the shotgun. Shotgun formation straight ahead to Smith. Yep, and, and he's, let's see. He's, he's going to yeah. He's gonna pick up right around six yards yep. on the play, and that is Noah Smith. i got to keep my Smith brothers straight. <laughs> Second down now and four for the Rockets just underway here at the fairgrounds in Caldwell. 
Redskins and the Rockets tonight. Beautiful night. Feels Beautiful like, night. Feels like football, doesn't it? Does. It? Yeah, it does. Yes. A little bit of fall weather. Perfect. Nothing like it. Putnam's got the ball. He's back. He's Screen. looking a little screen. Oh, oh, blown that up. That was, yeah, boy, somebody, somebody's yeah. heard somebody say screen. Yeah, and number 14, that's Gavin Leak. Wow, he was all yes, over was. that. And that was uh, number two, Noah Smith. He got the pass. Maybe picked up a yard, but he paid for it. Putnam comes in from the sidelines. I expect we're going to see quite a bit of that from Connaughton Valley tonight. They're going to try to get their skill people the ball in space. And then and, and make, make the uh, Redskins secondary tackle in space. Putnam guns a pass down the field. Oh, oh dropped. That is, uh, that is the top receiver for the Rockets, number 24, Cam Wright. And Just a sophomore. He's a good one. That's going to bring up a fourth down with that drop. Some good defense there by one of the Redskins. Devin McKee on the coverage there for the Redskins. Yeah, did a good job. So I'd say Connaughton Valley is going to have to punt this away. Let's see back who they've got back deep to punt. Looks to me like uh, number, is that 21, Brooks Bauer? Yeah. The punter? Yep. I so believe it is. He's one of the receivers, and he's going to punt. Ooh, and it got shanks some... it off the side of his foot, and the Redskins are trying to stay away from it, and the ball takes a Caldwell bounce. Good nice field. job there by, uh, that was uh, 21 Brooks Bauer down the field, uh, basically scooping that up, and the Redskins will have the ball first and 10 on their own 49-yard line. So that, good starting field position. That was Ethan Kroc who really put pressure on the punter for the Redskins and ends up with great field position. All right, Kale Bender back in the shotgun formation for the Redskins. It's pr yeah, probably Dylan Wheeler with him. Quick out. Yeah. That's number one, Wheeler, who's got the yeah, football. He got he's it. on the outside, and he's got some room. He's in the 30, the 20, cuts back to the 10. He's knocked out of bounds, but a great job there by Dylan Wheeler. Big gain on first Big down. That's a Caldwell lumber first down. Redskins are in business on the Connaughton Valley 10. Long handoff. Uh oh, it's coming back. I see a penalty uh, flag. Could be, could be a hole. Yeah. Okay. So. And that's we'll exactly wait. what it is. And it yeah. looked like from where it was thrown, it was on the far sideline. Yeah. So one of the blocks that sprung Wheeler was probably a hold. So a break for the Rockets now. Yeah. As the Redskins will be looking at first and twenty. That was just a long handoff, Bill, to Wheeler. That was just a quick throw. I always call them long handoffs. Set up for the. Receiver to make yards after he catches it out there. I think uh, number 14 is the back there, uh, Gavin Leak. I think. Yeah, he's, he's a he's one of the running backs. Bender. We, yeah, we were split out in the shotgun formation. The snap, the give, straight ahead. That is Wheeler, yeah, yeah, and he's, he's not going to get a whole lot of. Now yeah, he breaks he, a tackle. He's breaks gone. Breaks another one. He's, he's gone. gone. The 30, 40, the 20. 10, 5, touchdown Redskins. I don't see any laundry this time, no, John. It's not either. coming back. 44, uh, that's 56 yards. Well, and that one comes down to second effort by Boy, Dylan yes. Wheeler. Because or, or he broke tackling. He broke he broke two tackles at the line of scrimmage and all of a sudden he got a block and he was off to the races. Yeah, two or three of the Connaughton Valley defenders had their hands on him but just couldn't hold him and he kept his feet moving and then bro just broke it out to the right side and uh, there was nobody left home. Jazz Pfeffer on to kick for the extra point. It's up. It is good. 10-12 left in the first quarter. Caldwell breaks out on top to score. Redskins 7, Connaughton Valley nothing. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more right after this. Chandler Funeral Home and Cremation Service not only offers the most modern and spacious funeral home in the area, it also offers the largest outdoor monument selection display. If you are considering a lasting headstone for a loved one, take a drive by Chandler Funeral Home to view their wide variety of sizes and colors. For personalized assistance in selecting your monument, contact Chandler Funeral Home at 732-1311 or on the web at chandlerfuneralhome.net. Choose comfort. Choose Chandler Funeral Home. 
Celebrating a decade of deliciousness, Patty's Place has been serving homestyle cooked meals since 2013. Indulge in their homemade pies daily and enjoy breakfast served all day long. They're open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Sundays. Don't forget to check out their Facebook page for daily specials. Conveniently located between Bell Valley and Caldwell on State Route 821. Come on over and satisfy your cravings at Patty's Place. Welcome back to the fairgrounds. Chaz Pfeffer getting ready for the Doan Ford kickoff. And here we go. Pfeffer puts a leg into it. And I think one of the Smith brothers has it. What yep. do you think? That's yep. Luke, number six. He's got the football. He's out to the 29-yard line, tripped up. By and number, Rock yeah, number Rock 88, Harrison Peftry. Rockets will have it there. First and 10, 10.07 10 left here in the first quarter. Boy, Redskins breaking on uh, top quickly. That was kind of lightning in a bottle it there. It was. Yeah, and that was all Dylan Wheeler. Yeah, he uh, he basically broke that yes. run. I mean, he broke two tackles at the line of scrimmage. Look for the world like they had him, but yes. he got away. All right. Rockets with the football. Number 10, Zach Putnam, the quarterback. Got two backs there with him. I believe it's the Smith brothers. <laughs> yep. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. Kind of timeout, I believe. Yep, Connaughton Valley calls time. So Coach O'Hara wanting to talk to his troops. First year for O'Hara. I believe yeah. he was the offensive coordinator, perhaps the defensive, I think the offensive coordinator for the Rockets last year. So they had a good year, made the playoffs. Uh, boy, we were talking about it. Much improved facilities up there at Connaughton oh, Valley. Beautiful. beautiful. Yes. Beautiful facilities. Yes. Thank Mother Nature for the oil and gas under yeah, the ground up there. Telling you right now, got the good turf field, and yeah. I believe that there's some new schools going up, so things yeah. looking up at Connaughton have, Valley. Have a turf softball and a turf baseball field as well, all lighted, and a uh, great and a great weight and recreation facility. Things looking up. Yes. In the valley. All right. Putting him the quarterback straight ahead, Smith. That's Luke, and he's out to right around the 34-yard line. It's going to be a pickup of right around five yards. It'll be second and five for the Rockets. Rockets dressed in their white jerseys tonight, green pants. They've got the yellow Green Bay Packer-style helmets. Like the look. Yeah. Yep. Redskins in the all-black with the white numerals and red helmets. Like that look, too. Particularly like those white numbers. Very readable. Yeah, <laughs> we can see those. That's right. Yeah. All right. Except Put our colors are red and white. Yeah. <laughs> Putting them the quarterback in the shotgun back. Look, oh, that's he, blocked. Oh, he my goodness. Almost had it. Boy, Ethan Crock was in right on top of Putting them before he could pull the trigger, knock that pass down, and he was looking for it but couldn't find couldn't it. Couldn't find it. Yeah, he knew it was up there somewhere. Well, uh, Bill, he's unblocked. Yeah, he is unblocked. There's well, nobody out there uh, again, uh, to block him. Coach O'Hara said, you know, hey, if we're having a yeah. problem this year, it's with our line. So they're very inexperienced. He said they only had two players who had varsity experience from last year. He didn't say started. He said varsity experience. Yeah, but, you know, somebody's going to have to block Ethan Crock. Ethan doesn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Putting him with the snap straight ahead, Smith. Quick hitter there. Oh, he breaks a tackle. The 40, and he's out to the 44-yard line. So Luke Smith picks up 10. And Luke is the younger brother. Yes. He's the junior. Yes. His brother Noah, number two, is the senior. He was brought down over there by number, uh, well, I didn't see the number. Somebody okay. on the right side. No, it was, uh, it, that was... Uh, one of the Van Fossen brothers All right, over there. That's a Coldwell yeah. Lumber first down for Connaughton Valley, and here come the Rockets, shotgun formation again. Yep. Putting them with the snap to give. This time uh -oh. it's Noah Flag. Smith. Flags all over the place. Yeah. Smith cuts it up the field. He's going to gain around four. But let's see what the laundry's all about. Eight forty-six left here in the first quarter. Seven nothing Caldwell. Big fifty-six yard run by Dylan Wheeler. 
Okay, so that's a five yard procedure penalty. Yep. Coming so back. So they'll get the down over. But it makes you go a little deeper in your playbook. That's now first and ten. Well, or third and ten. They don't want to get in no. these they don't want to get in these no. situations. No. Uh, because when you have to drop back and throw, I'll tell you what, Chase Norman is licking his chops. Yeah, and it would appear to me that uh, so is Ethan Crock from his defensive end position. He's been uh, in the backfield a couple of times already. As you said, unblocked, unblocked a couple of times. This time, Ethan's over he, on the yeah. far side, on the right side of the line. Up under center comes number 10, Zach and Putnam. Timeout, Canaan Valley. Boy, the they, second they, one. they yeah. burned two already in the yes. first half. Yeah, coach didn't like some, he. I think uh, he didn't like something he saw on the defense. Probably the way this time Ethan Cronk, he, uh, you know, he lined up on the right side. Because he was so, on, he's been on the left side. Yes. So yes. Of course, Chase Norman. He's a tackle. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I don't know what he well chase pretty much he's going to be right in the middle of that line and he's yeah. going to be a problem wherever he lines oh up. yeah now they're going to move they're going to move ethan around he's probably the yeah. best edge rusher they've yeah. got this yeah. time he's going to come out to the left side yep all yep. right second uh, excuse me first and 15 coming up under center zach putnam for the rockets straight ahead nothing wow and, and that's that was Chase Norman. Norman. Chase Norman got him, yes. Big number 60. Like I yep. said, he's just going to line up in the middle of that line, and he's going to be a problem wherever he is. They're giving it to... Uh, Dalton Egnott, the freshman, uh, he is, he is going to be tough as well. And that's why I said the Redskins have some young people on the line as well. So, you know, it's... Uh, Learning experience. No, ex there's no substitute for experience. Well, we're halfway through the season, so that yep. that does help. They've got yep. some experience now. Putting them with the football and pressure. Ball's knocked up in the air, and is that picked? Somebody's got it. it. Like a, yep, I think it that the Redskins picked. have it. Yep. Yep, and that's 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 number twelve. Number, number, that's number twelve. Uh, Jonathan Morocco. Yeah, he's, he's got the Mar football. I'll tell you what, I'm not yeah. sure. Jonathan, I'm not sure if he was the one who knocked it. He was the one who pulled the ball down. He pulled down. it in, yeah. Somebody knocked that ball up in the air. They were actually shooting for uh, number 80, Gavin Haney, one of the wideouts, and Haney never had a chance. That he ball knocked not. up in the air, and uh, he was swung. And guess who was in there again? Ethan Crock. Ethan Crock. First down for the Redskins now. Snap. Fake. Oh, nice pass. That's up the line, number two. That's the Kale Eve, Bender finds uh, Ethan, Ethan Kroc, Kroc yep. up the sidelines. That's going to be a gain of right around six on the play. So nice job there by Bender. A lot of patience as he rolled out to the left side, waited for uh, Kroc to come open, then got him the football. Yeah, had plenty of time. Line did a good job of, uh, you know, moving the pocket and keeping him protected. Bender in the shotgun formation. Beside him, Dylan Wheeler. The single back. Long count, the snap. Wheeler's got the football. Straight ahead, the 25, and he's going to be knocked down right around the 22. See where they mark. It's close to a first down. And it is a Caldwell Lumber first down. They're going to give him a forward progress to the 21. 7.24 left in the first. Redskins up 7-0. Moving the ball again. They're in Connaughton Valley territory at the 21-yard line. Bender, the quarterback, in shotgun formation. Snap. To give. Wheeler. Leak. Leak's got it straight Early. ahead. Yeah, and he's going to spin, turn, twist. He's going to be brought down yeah. right around the 12-yard line. Nice run there by Gavin Leak. Give him you know, about nine on that carry. Beginning of the year, Gavin Leach just a sophomore, but we're going to see more and more of him as time goes on. He's a good back. Yeah, he's been hurt a little bit, nicked up in the first part of the season. He's Foot injury. now getting back to healthy. Foot injury. 
Bender, the quarterback, long count, the snap. Here's Wheeler with the ball. The jet sweep, the 10. He's gonna take it down inside the 10 to right around the five yard line. So nice job there by Dylan Wheeler fighting for extra yardage. And gets about five on that carry as Brooks Bauer Good. makes the tackle again for Canaan Valley. If you're wondering why the band sounds so good tonight, they've got the alumni helping. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. several of they're, them. Yeah, they're in they're in rare form tonight, <laughs> and they're very loud. So hats off to them. Kale Bender, the quarterback, in shotgun formation. Leak is the back single back beside him on the left side. The snap, the fake. Bender's got it. Guns it down the middle of the field. Yeah. That's a touchdown. touchdown. Number two, Ethan, Ethan Croc. Ethan Croc. Quick in by Croc, nice little slant, ducks in front of the safety, easy touchdown, yep. well read by the quarterback, Cale Bender. So 6.19 left here in the first, on to kick that extra point, ben, uh, Chaz Pfeffer. Snap, it's down, it's up, and... From the LA, good, boom. <laughs> so. As I say, 6.19 left here in the first. The score, Caldwell 14, Connaughton Valley nothing. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. People's Bank's vision is to be the best community bank in America. People's Bank provides local, hometown relationship-based banking with 132 full-service branches for all of your financial needs. As your community bank, People's Bank strives to make our communities a better place to live, work, and play. We would love a chance to earn your business. People's Bank, working together, building success. Member FDIC. And we're back at the fairgrounds. Yeah. Bill Kastler, John Seeker, 619 left in the first. Redskins jump out to a 14-0 lead. Canaan Valley Rockets, John, needs some answers they right do. now. Redskins putting all kinds of pressure on the Canaan Valley quarterback, Zach Putnam, and uh, they've coughed up a couple turnovers. It's hurt. Yes, that's, uh, that last one hurt as the Redskins took it right down and scored, and, uh, you know, that's what uh, the Redskins wanted to do was they wanted to get off to a good start and, uh, you know, put up some points early to Don't. take care of business, as they say. Don't Ford kickoff. Uh, yep. Pfeffer's back. Smith Brothers back deep to receive. Here's the kick. Could be a short line drive kick fielded by Luke Smith. Yeah, at about the 15. And he's going to take it to right around the 30 yard line. Yeah. Call it the 31. First yeah. and 10 Rockets. Yeah. Havison Petri again on the special teams. Makes the stop. So 14 0. And I'll tell you what, if you're Coach Chance Rucker, you can't script it too much better. No. Creating defense yeah. creates turnovers. Offense uh, answers the bell, takes the ball right down the field, scores two times. Let's see what kind of adjustments the Rockets have made now. Putting them the quarterback in shotgun formation. That's Noah yeah. Smith off to his right side. The snap to give to Smith. Smith straight ahead. Not much room over there. Yeah, going to get about two. Well, looks like uh, number 64, that is uh, Guyler Preston for the Redskins yeah. with the tackle. Second down and eight for the Rockets. 5.52 clock running here in the first quarter. Yeah, the Rockets need to come up with a real solid drive here. Not many kids on the team, so I don't no. know if it has anything to do with giving the defense a rest because they've got a lot of guys that go two ways. Putting them guns a pass to the outside. Nice job there. That's 21. That is Brooks Bauer with the Bauer, catch. Yeah. And he's close to a first down. Don't think he quite made the line. Uh, they're at the 40. Not quite. I think he's a little short, so it'll bring up a third down right around one to go for the Rockets. They need yeah. this. Yep. They do indeed. Yeah. Yeah. And here is the question. Can the Connaughton Valley line create a hole for one of those backs? Yes. Up under center this time is Putnam, the quarterback. Boy, I'll tell you yeah. what, they have some movement, and he's going to yeah. push it straight ahead. Yeah, he's got he's it. got it, yep. Nice job by Putnam. 
Puts his head down right behind his center and he's got enough for the Caldwell Lumber first down. So the Rockets move the chains. I think that's their first first down of the night, if I'm not mistaken. I, maybe not, they maybe their second. It might be their second, I think. Yeah, I didn't make a note of it, but we'll give them credit and say that was their second first down. I like that, we can do that. That's yes. good. We have the power up here to yep. do that, so yeah. Yeah, that's yep. their second. Yep. All right. <laughs> First down Rockets, they're in their own territory at their own 42-yard line. Up under center again, the quarterback, Zach Putnam, the junior. Long count, man, in motion. Here's the snap, the give straight ahead. That's Smith, he's in, oh, caught in the yeah. backfield. Again, yeah. that's Croc. Yep, he is Croc. all over the place. Oh, man, he had such penetration that Smith had nowhere to go, turned him back up inside, and then grabbed him from behind and pulled him down. So. Yeah. Nice job there by Ethan Croc. I don't know if anybody is blocking Ethan or if somebody is, <laughs> they're getting eat up. Yeah, I, I would say the latter. I think that there's somebody on him, but he, you know, he's a lot to handle. He's very quick. Good edge yeah. rusher for the Redskins. He's off on yeah. the on the on the right side this time. <sighs> That's a loss of yeah. 10. Second and 20. Ouch. Putnam, the quarterback, is back. Guns a pass down the middle of the field. Oh, oh broken up. Nice shot. That's Bender. Bender, yeah, broke it up. Boy, number 80 for the Rockets. Yeah. Gavin Haney was all by himself, and Bender playing safety yeah, spotted ben that. Came down, just knocked it right out of the air. Bender doesn't knock that down. That's six for Connaughton Valley. Again, Putnam under a ton of pressure. Yes. I mean, yes. he just doesn't have much time. And that uh, inexperience that uh, you talked about at the beginning is uh, somewhat present out there right now. It is third down, 16 to go for the Rockets. That's what they need for a first down. The snap flags uh, are down. Flag. Let's see. Offside, Caldwell. Again, well, I'll tell you what, Ethan Crock, I don't know if it was him, <laughs> but... Um, uh, he was giving um, he was giving putting him a zip code. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Four three seven two four. We are right here, and I am I am right in your. Yeah. Yep. Yep. They have exchanged pleasantries. Welcome to Caldwell. Third down now and twelve for the Rockets. So let's make it eleven. Three twenty left here in the first. Clock rolling. Putting them this time in the shotgun formation. Long count, the snap. Again, Croc. Oh, oh man, he just come back. Come they back, tried to come yeah. back, and in, that I, was kind of a desperation pass as um, Cam Wright wasn't then, quite ready to make his move to come back to the yeah, football, well, and <laughs> putting them had to throw it. He had to throw it. <laughs> he didn't have yeah. any choice. Yep. A again, Ethan Croc living in the Connaughton Valley yep. backfield. It's almost like he's in their huddle. Yeah, he uh, could almost take a snap. Punt formation so, now for the Rockets. Yeah, that's Dylan Wheeler back to receive for the Redskins. Here's the kick. That is uh, number 23. That is Charles Decker punting for the Rockets and not a very good punt. Well, again, he was under pressure from Ethan Croc. It's gonna be at midfield, so uh, that's about a nine yard punt, maybe, maybe a 10 yard punt. 3.02 left in the first. Outstanding field position at midfield for the Redskins. So the Redskins' third possession, they've scored on the first two, and they're starting great field position on their third possession. Bender the quarterback, and Jarrett Van Fossen is the running back off to his right side. Twins right, twins left for the Redskins. Might be going to work on their passing game. We'll see. The snap. Bender's back. He's looking. Good protection down the middle of the field. Oh. Looking for Hurlin. Overshot him by just a little bit. Yep. You know, that's one of the things about Alex Hurlin. He's about 6'4". Yep. And... Yep. You know, he's a great target to look at downfield. He's so tall. Yes, yes. Ethan Kroc, pretty much the same thing. He's 6'3". 
except uh, Kale uh, overthrew him. <laughs> but he Level had too high. Had time. Oh yes, plenty yes, of room. Plenty there. of time. Yeah. Bender in the shotgun again. I think that's Van Fossen with him this time on the left side. The snap, the give, short pass this time. Hurland's got it. Yeah. He's going to have a nice gain to right around the Canton Valley 42 yard line. I'll bring up a third down right around two to go for the Redskins. 14 0 Caldwell, 242 left in the first. Little uh, short pass there now. Uh, might go long again on this one and test him. Bender's back. He's yep, looking. He's, he's going to gun it down the middle of the field. He's yeah. got to be wide open. That's, That's Dylan Wheeler, Wheeler and yeah. he's going to have it for Caldwell Lumber first down to the Canaan Valley 15 20, yard line. 25 yards on that one. Dylan Wheeler with a quick little slant and he found some room right in the middle of the field. He did. Bender, the quarterback, and back there with him. That's 21, Jared Van Fossen. Bender in the shotgun, the snap. Little dump pass, Hurland's yeah. got it. He's going to take it ahead for right around, oh, maybe. Yeah, out to seven yard line. Yeah, that's I a think. nice gain on first down. That'll be probably a gain of right around Not, six. Yeah. Yep. I think you're closer to right. I think it's closer to nine. That's yep. where they've got it marked. So uh, second down and one. I'm on that, boy. I tell, tell you. Tell you right, Eagle Eye. Oh, yeah. Eagle Eye secret. Wait till it gets dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kale Bender in the shotgun. Van Fossen's back there with him. 14-0 Redskins who are knocking on the door once again. They're all the way down to the Canaan Valley seven-yard line. Bender looks at the wrist strap. Now he calls the counts, the snap. He's back. He's looking. Going to gun the ball out to the sidelines. Cutting it back inside. That's Wheeler. He spins, and he's into the end zone. Yep, touchdown. Dylan Wheeler. Seven yards. That's going to make it 20 0, 122 left in the first. Well, yeah, we'll give Wheeler a uh, reception on that, but again, that was just a long handoff. Boy, Redskins looking to be in mid season form as Dylan Wheeler with his second touchdown, Cale Bender with his second touchdown pass. Pfeffer for the kick now. Snap. Down, up, good. and good. So the kick is good. 122 left in the first. The score, Caldwell 21, Canaan Valley nothing. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. In today's marketplace, you have many choices for insurance. WB Green Insurance, a representative of Westfield Insurance, is committed to providing you with excellent coverage for your home and auto at a fair and competitive price. Westfield has been in the neighborhood for over 150 years, providing peace of mind and quality insurance products through independent insurance professionals. Sharing knowledge, building trust is Westfield's pledge to their customers. Call WB Green Insurance today. Hey, football fans, laborers, Local 530 in Zanesville, Ohio, is cheering on all the local high school teams this year. Serving Muskingum, Perry, Noble, and Guernsey counties, Local 530 represents around 400 skilled men and women in the building and construction trades. They work with over 100 signatory contractors, providing committed and experienced laborers for building, heavy highway, and pipeline construction. For more information, give them a call at 740-453-1214. Good luck to all the teams from Laborers Local 530. We're back at the fairgrounds in Caldwell getting ready for the Dome Ford kickoff. Redskins have jumped out to a 21 to nothing lead on Canaan Valley. 122 left in the first. Caldwell taking advantage of turnovers, executing their offense, taking care of business, as Coach Chance Rucker said. Here's a short kick by Pfeffer. Yeah, It'll be taken up to right around the 35-yard line. I believe that was uh, Bauer who took the shorter kick off this time. All right. Checking our uh, Sue Snowed State Farm scoreboard updates. Got a few scores right now. Tuscarora Central Catholic and Buckeye Trail, nothing, nothing early in the football game. East Liverpool over Cambridge, 13 to nothing in the first. Right here, it's Caldwell, 21, Connaughton Valley, nothing. The snap, 
Rockets have the football. Passes a little high as Putnam tried to put it on the numbers for 21. Brooks Bauer that went off his hands out of bounds. They'll bring up a second and 10 for Connaughton Valley. And again, three black jerseys all over the quarterback. Score in from, uh, boy, John Glenn ahead of Meadowbrook, 14 to nothing early in the football game. That would be Jace Norman's uncle at Meadowbrook. Okay. I grew up with all those people in Fairview, Ohio. Why, there you go. You Pleasant, <laughs> that's, that's, that's you Pleasant City Tiger, you? Suburb, suburb of Pleasant City. All right, that's all right. All the Normans. Snap. Oh, Ooh, boy, pressure again. Putting them eludes it, and he's looking downfield. He's going to gun the ball down oh, the field. He's, he's got, got a man, man out there. No. That's Cam Wright who can't catch up with it. But, boy, yes. putting them bought himself a little bit of time, and he, they had a shot there with that one. Yep, as uh, Alex Hurland on the coverage. Uh, but uh, Hurland was beaten. If, if it passed, yeah, two, was on again, the money. Uh, well, of course, if any of them were on the money, they catch a boy, I guess. Again, <laughs> too much um, pressure. Yeah, yeah. Ethan Croc, uh, he sidestepped Ethan, but there was plenty of help coming to help Ethan out. Looks like uh, Shenandoah Zepps uh, up 8 nothing on Buckeye Local early as well. Yep. Let's see if we can get a Barnesville score. All right, putting him the quarterback for Connaughton Valley. Guns a pass to right oh. outside, and in on third and ten, he overthrows the little out, and that's going to be incomplete. It'll bring up a punting situation for Connaughton Valley. So just 57 yeah. seconds left here in the first, and the Redskins, John, are going to get the football again. Get it back, yeah. Yep. So. And they, and they have had pressure on the Connaughton punter? Valley punter on every punt so far. So let's see how it plays out here. Charles Decker, the punter, oh low my. snap, and they've got oh. pressure on him again, and he shanks the punt again. Again. Yeah. And that's not going to even make midfield. Ooh, uh, the markers that, come up, but uh, that's a nice job there by Wheeler. He went in there and dove on the football. Yeah, that touched the Redskin player before Wheeler dove on it, so it was live. So yeah, I Wheeler, think it hit Morocco but, out there. Yeah, but it was so short, yeah. he lost track of the football. That's yeah. why it hit him. <laughs> so, again, good pressure on the punter by Caldwell. First down for the Redskins. They're on the Connaughton Valley, 48. Again. Just 49 seconds left in the first quarter. Kale Bender in the shotgun. I believe that's being Fossen back there it with is. him on the right side. It is. The snap. Bender's back. He's looking, looking down oh the middle my. of the field. That is Ethan, Ethan Croc, Croc, number oh, two. Oh, he fumbled it out of bounds. <laughs> yes, and back there, that was uh, that was Gavin Leak, number 14, back there with Bender. So yeah. they're running some uh, different backs in and out. But so far tonight, Redskins have been pretty much reliant on uh, the arm of Cale Bender to move them down the field. And yeah, they got four wide outs again on this possession. Trips to the right. The snap, Bender's back, looking, guns it down there. That's Croc again, little in, and he's, he's down all the way to the 15-yard line. Yep, so 18 yards on that pass play. Redskins with three receivers off to the right side, and they're quickly up again. 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. Bender in the shotgun formation. Leak the back beside him. Bender's back. He's looking. He guns oh the ball down my. the middle. There's Croc wide open. The two, the one, touchdown. Touchdown. Yeah, 15-yard touchdown pass. 16.6 seconds left in the first quarter. Redskins do it again. 27-0. And that That's time, I really think the pace bothered Connaught yes. Valley. Redskins went a little hurry up. They almost act like they, they thought that was the end of the half and trying to score. Instead, it's just the end of the first quarter. So they're up 27 nothing, And uh, Mr. Peffer comes in trying to make it 28. Kick by Pfeffer's up. It is good. Yep. 16.6 seconds left here in the first quarter. The score, Caldwell 28, Connaughton Valley nothing. We'll take a break. Back with more right after. 
Most of us are faced with uncertainty every day. Your job, your finances, sporting events, schooling for your children, and so much more. With so much uncertainty surrounding you, there's one auto dealership that you can be certain about, and that's Doan Ford. You can be certain that you'll always get a great deal and the best service afterwards. In business for nearly 60 years has given Doan Ford the reputation of being a strong, reliable dealership. Be certain. Choose Doan Ford online at DoanFord.com. Now located at 16050 McConnellsville Road in Caldwell, Ohio. Patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance Company is a mutual insurance company established in 1896 for the purpose of providing insurance coverage to rural Ohio. They offer a product to meet your insurance need, whether it is for a farm, rental dwelling, home in town, secondary or seasonal dwelling, churches, or mobile home. They partner with Grinnell Mutual Insurance Company to offer liability coverage to package with their patrons Buckeye Mutual Policy. Call today at 638-3604 and follow them on Facebook at Patrons Buckeye. We're back yeah. to Fairgrounds. Chaz Pfeffer yeah. with the Doan Ford kickoff. Here we go. Straight yeah. up the middle of the field comes, uh, let's see, one of the Smith brothers. That's Noah. Noah, number two. Thank you. Yeah. Got to keep my Smith brothers straight. He's oh, got yeah. the ball out to the 31-yard line. 11.4 seconds left in the first quarter. 28-0 Caldwell. And the Rockets don't know what has hit them. They have been staggered. As the Redskins have... Uh, uh, I don't think uh, they have started in their uh, four possessions. Uh, all have been between uh, their 40 and 50 yard line. Yeah, well, I think and, and one uh, in and one, one, in, one in Connaught yes. Valley territory. Just yes. get the 48, but still, yeah. all right. Yep, Rockets with the football straight ahead. That's Noah, Noah Smith. Smith. Yeah, and he's brought down by number seven, Alex Hurley. And with that, the end of the first quarter of play. As we said, the score after one quarter, it's Caldwell, 28, Connaughton Valley, nothing. We'll take a break. Back with more from the fairgrounds right after this. Are you looking to spruce things up in your home? At Boyd Precision Painting, they specialize in painting and refinishing kitchen cabinetry, bath vanities, trim doors, household furniture, and more. With years of experience and knowledge of the improvements in technology, they use the highest quality coatings to assure chemical and physical resistance and longevity. Give your home an updated look at an affordable price and call today for your free consultation, 740-581-BOYD. That's 740-581-2693. Serving Southeast Ohio and surrounding areas. Go Redskins! When a loved one dies, the remaining family members are oftentimes overcome with sadness, grief, confusion, and stress. If you are burdened with planning a funeral, let the experience and compassion of the McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home staff ease the difficult situation at hand. Ken and Robin Perkins will guide you through the process of making arrangements. Phone McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home of downtown Caldwell at 732-4223 or their web address is mcveigh-perkins.com. We're back at the very <laughs> noisy Caldwell Fairgrounds. Redskins up 28-0. Here's a long pass by Zach yeah. Putnam for Broke. Connaughton Valley. Broken up there. Uh, yeah, that was uh, oh, uh, quarterback. Luke, uh, Bender. Kyle Bender broke that one up. That Bender was at Devin McKee. Both. Both. Okay, both yeah, safeties. Double back coverage. There, both safeties back there that time. Double coverage. Well, and, you know, you have to give Connaughton Valley a little credit. They're basically trying to stretch the field and uh, keep some of that pressure off of their quarterback. That Redskins, was, Redskins have been right in the backfield oh, ev in, every been, time that Zach Putnam has gone back to throw. He's yeah. looking at black jerseys. He's right, in, he's right there right in his grill. Back. Here we oh, go. Boom. Looking Way for overthrown. Cam Wright that time. And again, not enough time. He's pulling the trigger a little quick. Yeah, he had some time that time if he would have just waited a little bit. So that's going to make it fourth down, and I think that's going to bring in the punter, number 23, Charles Bender. This has been another problem for the Rockets as the Redskins yes. have put a lot of pressure on the punter. Yeah, and you can just see Ethan Kronk out there licking his chops. Dylan Wheeler back to receive. Bender, the punter, has got the snap, and Crocs in. I think Crocs got, got a piece of that. On it. That's going to take a nice Connaughton Valley roll, though. This is going to end up being probably one of the best, <laughs> Better, best yeah. punts of the night. And Ethan Crock did get a hand on it, and yeah. I, I watched. I, I singled that out. And <laughs> Nobody blocked him. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was an attempt, but he never touched him. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> you know, I'm it's telling a, you, he's a he's good, quick. He's a good edge rusher, no yeah, doubt he's, about he, it. He, he's quick, and the, the defensive tackle just could not get out there to, you know, get it. Get, get anything a, get on a, him. Put a chuck on him. Yeah, nothing. nothing. You put a little chuck on him, you're going to throw him off. <laughs> Couldn't even do that. No. No, and he got a hand on that punt. All right. He, oh, wow. They got three receivers out to the left side. Twins to the right. Yep, Bender. By himself. Single back. The snap. He's got it. He's back. He's looking. Got some pressure. Guns the ball down. The middle. Oh, That's almost picked. By no, that was number two. That, that was one of the That Smith was Noah brothers. Smith. Yes. He coughed it up. Yeah. Cough drop. Smith Brothers. I got it. That's yeah. weak. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. 28 0 Redskins. 11.35 left here in the uh, second quarter. That was good. That was good. I'll give you that one. It wasn't that good. That was. That <laughs> <All> was. <laughs> Rockets yeah. are reeling. I mean, they do not know. I mean, Redskins look yeah, like they're they, in, in uh, playoff form. They, they really do. They have not got off the launching pad. Here's the snap. Here's a quick give. That's a leak. Yeah. He's going to get up the middle of the field. He's probably going to pick up right around five. That's going to make it third and five. So Gavin Leak, the sophomore, 5'10", 175 pounds. That's his second carry. Like we said, coming, it got getting back healthy again. Uh, and uh, the Redskins, uh, the coaches are expecting big things out of Leak as his career unwinds here. Well, they were looking for him to fill in uh, yes. some of the roles Marshall yes. Sayre right. was filling. Yeah, just not quite the power runner yet that Marshall Sayre well, he was. He's just a sophomore. Very few were. <laughs> he's just a sophomore. All right, Bender, the quarterback, is back. Oh, oh. A little screen to the inside. They tried to pop yeah. the wide receiver, Alex Herlin, and Herlin let the ball skip off top of his hands. Yeah, he tried to run before he caught that one. And that was a bubble screen. Been there, done that. Have to watch that football in. Look it in, they say. And the Redskins are going to go for it. No, they're going to punt. No, they're going to punt it. Which makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, flip one, the field. One of the problems that other teams have is Cale Bender's the punter. Yep, and he's a, he is a problem for your defense. Oh, they're going to throw. No, they're going to, yeah, he's going to throw right yep. up the middle of the field. There we go. Dylan Wheeler. Wheeler's got it. He's got yep. the first down, the 40, the and 35, more. the 30. He's going to be knocked out of bounds. Got to 20. You know, and. 30. 32 yards. That is a huge gain, and that is going to be a Caldwell Lumber first down for the Redskins. They retain possession. That, I think, was Kale Bender's choice. If it's open, yeah. Kale, go ahead and throw yep. it. If it's not, punt the that's, ball away. That's, that's the, the problem, problem Kale Bender creates. Exactly. That is, you know, in your defensively, you've got to make a choice. Do I spy him? Or do I try, just try to get line pressure on him? And, well, I'll tell you what, you've got to account for him, I think. He's too good of a runner. Not that's what I, you know, that's the, you either got to put a spy on him or uh, you've got to make sure that uh, your pass rush or run rush is responsible for him. All right, Bender in the shotgun. Oh, there's uh -oh. a whistle. I think too much, too much time. Time out. Or time out. Caldwell. By the Redskins. Yep. 10.43 left in the second, 28 nothing, And... You know what, Coach Chance Rucker, he's not taking his foot off the gas yet, John. Well, no, he uh, he's not going to until, you know, uh, they, he gets everything under control. And then second half, uh, you know, then it will look at getting some kids into play. Let's talk right. about some of our sponsors, John, okay. uh, without whom we would not be here right. tonight. Yeah, Patty's right. Place, Doan Ford, People's Bank, West 40 Auto Sales, Bay Perkins Funeral Home, Davis Drugs, Chandler Funeral Home, Patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance, Laborers Local 530, WB Green Insurance, Farmers and Merchants Bank, Sue Snowd State Farm, Boyd Precision Painting, and Cedar Ridge Behavioral Health. Without these sponsors, we couldn't be here tonight, and we're, we're happy to bring you this football game. Correct. Thanks to all of them. Yeah. Redskins up 28-0, 10-43 left here in the second. Cale Bender, the quarterback, in shotgun formation. The snap, the quick pass up the middle. That's Ethan Kroc. Seems like we've called that number a few we times have. tonight. And, and he's he's going to get about 11 yards on Caldwell that. Caldwell Lumber first down, John. And 
that's going to bring up a, uh, I think they can get a first down without getting a touchdown, but I mean, not by a whole lot. Not by a whole lot, no, about, about the length of the football. Probably won't need it. Clock the way, way things are going. Clock rolling, 10-17 left. Cale Bender directing yeah. Gavin Leak to his right side. Long count. Yeah, play clock down to four, three. The snap. Bender's got it. Going to throw the alley oop up there. Erlin had a shot. Nice defense back there by one of the Rockets' defensive backs. Not sure. Can't get a number on that. He's, he's real uh, far away. But that's a that's a good idea by the Redskins. Get the big man in the back of the end zone and just throw the throw alley oop up. Him, yeah. He's 6'4". He can probably get to it before the other guy. That's the theory. Yep. Let him climb the ladder and pick it, pick it off up there. Not sure who that was. That I, think, may have been, I think that was Brooks Bauer. Number yeah, 21. 21. I think you're right. Yep. All right. Bender with a snap. The leak. Leak makes one man miss. Spins up the middle. Fighting. He is close. Close. He, he might make get it. that first down. <laughs> That's going to be on the half yard line. Yeah. I think he's got enough for a Caldwell Lumber first down. Put the sticks yeah. down, boys. It's yeah. first and goal from inside the one. I say it looks like Leak's in the pistol. No. no. He's going to come up on the left side. I think they feed Leak again. What do you think? Yeah, it's his turn. The snap. The give. Delayed Here's Leak. Off. Straight ahead. He's in. Walks in. Yep. Gavin Leak. I'm not yeah. sure. That may be his first varsity touchdown. He could have had one at Belpre the other week. Wow, 34 nothing. 9.25 left in the second. Gavin Leak scores on a one yard run, 34 nothing. Chaz Pfeffer on to try that extra point. And Wheeler, the holder, the snap, it's down, it's up, it is... Good. No, no good. good. Oh, wide left. Yeah. Wide so, left. Well, that's about the only that's thing that's gone wrong yeah, gone tonight wrong, yes. so far. Exactly. Pfeffer misses the extra point. 9.25 left in the second, John. The score, Caldwell 34. Connaughton Valley nothing. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. When a loved one dies, the remaining family members are oftentimes overcome with sadness, grief, confusion, and stress. If you are burdened with planning a funeral, let the experience and compassion of the McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home staff ease the difficult situation at hand. Ken and Robin Perkins will guide you through the process of making arrangements. Phone McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home of downtown Caldwell at 732-4223 or their web address is mcveigh-perkins.com. Davis Drug offers a personal commitment to their customers and community. Their services include home infusion therapy and vaccinations for flu, pneumonia, and shingles. For home care, they have lift chairs, hospital beds, walkers, and wheelchairs. And that's not all. Davis Drug carries home nursing supplies, diabetic shoes, respiratory equipment, and a full line of vitamins and over-the-counter products. Davis Drug, located at 109 West Street in Caldwell, caring for you and about you. Go online to mydavisdrug.com to find out more. Welcome back to the fairgrounds. Doan Ford kickoff. Chaz Pfeffer gets it to Noah Smith. He comes up. Takes the ball yeah. right around the 29 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 there for the Rockets. Who uh, 9 16 left in the second. They're down 34 to nothing. Redskins, like I said, they look like they're in playoff form tonight. They have come out with a vengeance. And they have not allowed the Rockets much of anything. Well, you know, we were uh, talking a little bit in the pregame about being careful. Don't look ahead to Barnesville, who's coming in here undefeated next week. I don't think the Redskins were looking ahead. Uh, not right now. Putting they may them, start after a bit. <laughs> putting them straight ahead. That's uh, Luke Smith with quick carry. He's going to take it out to the 30, gain of two. So... Second and eight for the Rockets. 
Nine minutes left here in the second, second quarter. And the Rockets probably can't wait to get to the half to see if they can make any kind of adjustment. But uh, as Coach O'Hara, you know, as he talked about it in the beginning, the problem has been on the line. Uh -huh. uh, the Redskins have dominated play at the line of scrimmage. They and have. just here's a nice and job. That is yep. putting him, getting the ball out to one of his receivers yeah, out there. Yeah, that's number 20, uh, 21, Brooks Bauer again. Bauer the junior. And the other thing they've done is they, oh, that's that's Cam Wright. Okay, or I Cam think that's, Wright. His, that's okay. his first catch of the night. I was just going to say, haven't heard anything out of him, and he's a, he's a very good wide receiver. So that's going to make it third down, right around three to go okay. for the Rockets, who are looking for little victories right now. Yeah, they're looking for positive things to happen here against the Redskin defense. Trying to move into Redskins territory. Quarterback putting them in the shotgun, the snap to give straight ahead, and I, ah, boy, I'll tell you what, he doesn't have enough for the first down. I don't think he's close, but not, not quite there. That was Noah Smith, number two. The senior, yeah. the senior Smith brother. Uh, let's see, that brings up fourth and one. What are you thinking? I think they're gonna go for this. Oh, I, you, you know, what you got to lose? You're down 32 to nothing? 34. Or 34 to nothing? I forgot he missed the point. Yeah, you did. Uh, and, and yeah, I, I, you know, if I'm Rockets coaching staff, uh, anything positive right now. All right. Up and under Taylor. center is putting them. He's gonna try for it. Oh, oh, he no he way. Did not get it. No way. He's not even close. Yeah, they're yeah, pointing they're Caldwell's pointing Caldwell way. Caldwell so a turnover yeah. on downs yep. created by the Morocco, Redskins defense. Morocco in there. Uh, it's like number Dylan Wheeler in there yeah, too. Dylan I think. Wheeler in there. Yeah, the linebackers really stuffed that one. Great job yeah. that time by the Redskins defense, and they took, take over with that turnover on downs. Boy, a long night getting longer for Connaughton Valley. Yep. 7.38 left in the second. They're down 34 to nothing. Yeah, that ride back to Bowerston is starting to look mighty long. Kale Bender, the quarterback, in shotgun, yeah. the snap. Yeah, Here's the end around to Hurlin. He's got some room. The 30, the yeah. 25, down to the 21-yard line before he's brought down by Cam Wright. So a nice run by Alex Hurland. That's enough for a Caldwell for Lumber first, first down. down. Exactly. Whoops. It's it's holding against the Redskins. Coming oh, back. Didn't see the laundry. Didn't okay. either. Didn't either. You know. And sometimes on those long plays where yeah. you're, you're counting on your line, holding a block, you can get caught doing that. Yep. And that's uh, get that hand around the shoulder pads, and it's uh, it's a hold. So it's first and 13 as the foul from the spot of the hold. Right. So that's where they mark it from. So Bender, the quarterback, now looking at first and 13. The snap. Here we go, end yeah. around again. This time they've got him bottled up. They tried the short yeah. side of the field. He's going to pick up a little yeah. yardage, but... Uh, yeah, it picks up about three. Let's see where they mark him. Bauer, I think, the 21 was the one that drove him up. Gained it probably right around four. So it's second down. I will make it five. Yeah. Second down and eight. Bender, the quarterback, in shotgun formation. The snap, he's back. Takes a look. Now he's going to gun it down the field. He's got to meet right down the middle. Picked. Yep. That's Cam Wright, number 24, for the Rockets. The Rockets take the ball down to the 35-yard line. Something yep. positive for Connaughton Valley. Yep. Nice job there by Cam Wright. As he waited, he kind of baited Bender into throwing that football and just snuck up under the receiver and grabbed it. Yep. At, that was in, uh, in intended for Wheeler, and uh, not a very well thrown football that time by Kale Bender. And I think Kale knows. It. I, you know, and I think he put a little bit too much air under it that time, just uh, trying to give his receiver an opportunity to run under it, which is a good yeah. idea, but not with a safety back there. No, that time the safety came over to help. 
All right, Putnam, the quarterback now. Rockets have the football on the turnover. He's back. He's looking. He's got pressure. Guns it out. That is number 21. That is Brooks Power. Can't handle the pass. Second and 10 for Connaughton Valley. And right now, I think that the Redskins are starting to run through the playbook. Let's see what we yeah. can do. Let's see where we need to improve. Let's see where we're good, where we're not. Good idea. Knowing well, you got a test coming up next week, you know you want to have some things on the burner that you know will work. And also something for Barnesville to look at in yeah. film. Yep. All right, putting him the quarterback in shotgun formation. He's got trips out to the left side. He's back. He's looking. Guns it back to the right. Cam Wright's got the football driven out of bounds by Herland, but he's got the catch. It's going to be right around the 39-yard line. And picked up about third down, right around six to go after three. a gain of four. I'll tell you what, Cam Wright paid for every one of those yards he got. Yeah, that, was a, that was a good hit by Hurlin. Yep, he was running downhill on that one. All right, Redskins trying to hold the Rockets down yeah. here. 6.48 left in the second quarter. Zach Putnam, the junior quarterback in shotgun formation for the Rockets. Yeah. Straight ahead, Smith. Noah Smith, excuse me, yeah, that's me. Luke. And... He is driven back for about a two-yard loss. Yeah, guess who that was? Ethan Crock? JC. Okay. Norman. All right. Number 60 on that tackle. Seems like Ethan Crock's been in on every yeah. other tackle. Yeah. I may as well throw that name out there, but yeah. Chase yeah, Keaton. that was a good guess. <laughs> yeah. You you would be close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that time Jace come in from that defensive line position or defensive line position he's interior yeah uh, he's he's a, one of the big guys yep all right shotgun formation yeah. fourth down they're going for it gunning the ball they now, try oh uh, they tried the back shoulder throw to cam righty overthrew yeah. it good coverage by hurling anyway it's going to turn the ball over on downs to caldwell correct, correct. You know what? I'll give Coach O'Hara yeah, points yeah, because yeah. he's not letting his kids back off. No. No. He's having them hang right in there and uh, showing that he has confidence in them. 6.06 .06 left here in the second quarter. 34 0 Caldwell all over Connaughton Valley. Bender with the football, the snap, the give. Wheeler straight ahead, bounces off one. Got some Still room, going. breaks another one. Cutting across the field, finally oh. brought down. That is yeah. number 21. 21, that is Brooks, Brooks Power. Yeah, and he uh, shoestringed him. He, <laughs> sh he saved a big game. He shoestringed him. Yep. I'll tell you what, he reached out there and grabbed his foot. So a nice tackle there by Bauer to save a big game. Yep, still picked up eight, but he was on his way to the end zone. That was a lot like that. Bauer, first, that was a lot like that first run. He yeah, just broke a couple tackles. Yep, if Bauer didn't get him, he was gone. All right, Bender the quarterback. He's a single back. Croc now back with him on the wing. The snap. Bender's back. He's looking, looking, he's looking. Gonna he's got to it. tuck it under and run. Now he's going to take it down inside. He's going to have enough for a first down. Breaks he's a tackle over 10-5. Touchdown. touchdown. 30-yard touchdown. Well, that time, I think the Rockets thought we got him cornered, and he yeah. just ran around the end, and that was that. Yeah, that's one of those where you think you have him trapped on the football field, and he, you can't find him. He's just too quick. <laughs> yep. 5-10 left here in the second quarter. I'll tell you what, I'm starting to wear out, buddy. You may have to take over. Uh, 40, 40 to nothing. Kale Bender with a long run. Kick by Pfeffer up and good. good. Yep. All right, 5 10 left in the second. The score Caldwell 41, Connaughton Valley nothing. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. 
you looking to spruce things up in your home? At Boyd Precision Painting, they specialize in painting and refinishing kitchen cabinetry, bath vanities, trim doors, household furniture, and more. With years of experience and knowledge of the improvements in technology, they use the highest quality coatings to assure chemical and physical resistance and longevity. Give your home an updated look at an affordable price and call today for your free consultation, 740-581-BOYD. That's 740-581-2693. Serving Southeast Ohio and surrounding areas. Go Redskins! Just like on the field, we believe in teamwork with our customers. This is Ashley Rich from the Farmers and Merchants Bank on the Square in Colwell. With our services, you can bank from your home, the office, or even at the stadium. You can sit back and enjoy the game knowing your money is in great hands. Good luck to all the local teams this year from everyone at the Farmers and Merchants Bank. Member FDIC. Back at the fairgrounds. Chaz Pfeffer getting ready for that Doan Ford kickoff. Redskins up 41 to nothing. Luke Smith, Noah Smith back deep to receive for Cotton Connaughton Valley. Here's the kick. Rolls okay. to the 15. Picked up by I think that's Noah Smith. Noah Smith, yeah. Good run, good return. Back out to the 35 yard line. They've had yeah. decent field position yeah. to start. Haven't been able to do anything with it, John. Jaron Van Fossen on the stop. Yeah, the, they just haven't been able to move the football. And, uh, you know, you've been calling the devastation by, well. <laughs> by the Caldwell rush from their linebackers, defensive end, and interior line. Uh, you know, the inexperience of, of Canaan Valley has really shown up. There is, uh, you know, they just don't have an answer. You can see they've got some guys that can run and can catch and yeah. can throw, but they're having trouble blocking. Yeah. And straight ahead, no, nothing there. <laughs> nothing. No. I mean, Chase yeah. Norman right in right. there. Yeah. He was just, he was just, he was just waiting on him. Yeah, Guyler Preston, I think, in there as well. Um, it just just been domination on the line of scrimmage yeah and yes. ethan crock well i don't know how, what else you can say this yeah. time he, he's coming in he's going to be on the right side this time he's been in the backfield so much from his defensive end position that i think they're on a first name basis now oh there's a little yeah. screen yeah. and not again the redskins with a good job to cover it and again, pressure by the Redskins. And Ethan Crock, Ethan number two, Kroc was again. in there. He, right. was, yeah. he was right there. Six, yeah. 64, Guyler Preston also creating some pressure from his defensive end spot. But right now, the tackles for Connaughton Valley, they don't have an answer for they, they do what not. They, the Redskins are doing outside. Yeah, they're, they're, the Redskins are just far too quick on that pass rush and interior wise chase norman uh, number 68 dalton eggnaught too strong inside yep putting him the quarterback in shotgun formation back looking and he's got a man Ooh. out there that's cam right and, and boy the there was a lot of grabbing there yeah yes there was both both ways both, both ways grabbing yeah. pushing and that was that it was, was uh why is that cool is it cool Back there, yeah, battling boy. battling number 24, Cam Wright. And like you said, a lot of extracurricular yeah. both ways. And I thought we might have got a, a, almost a roughing the passer uh, there. I was watching the referee out there, and he was looking right at it, and he didn't throw anything yellow. Well, so. well Putnam would probably be thankful for a flag because yeah. he's seen nothing but pressure tonight. And that time, yes. I was really looking for defensive pass interference. Yeah. I, I really thought they were going to get cool, but they didn't. They didn't throw a flag. The snap. Here's the punt. This time, no, no pressure. pressure. And nice roll for the Rockets this time. Yep. Going to roll out at the 32. 404 left here in the first half. Connaughton Valley with the football at their own 32. I don't think. Connaughton Valley came in here expecting to be dominated like this. They gave yeah. Malvern a pretty decent football game. Caldwell, yeah. I'll tell you yeah. right now, Caldwell is really showing them something. They are indeed. 
Bender the quarterback in shotgun formation. 4.03 left here in the second. Bender's back looking. Guns the ball deep down the middle of the oh, field. He's got Herland. Yes. yes. Nice Indeed. catch by Alex Herland. They're all the way Herland. down to the Canaan Valley. 21. 20, 30, 53 yards on that pass play. Boy. And Coach Chance Rucker says, we're not done. The first half is not over yet. Yep. So that it, uh, quickly advances the football. Caldwell Lumber first down. down. Kale yes. Benders in the shotgun formation again. The snap, the give straight ahead. That's Leak. Leak's got the ball and he's gonna take it down to right around the 16 yard line. Gonna pick up about six. Second and four for the Redskins. Fifth carry for Gavin Leak. A lot of guys mm -hmm. seeing getting an opportunity yeah. with the ball. Benders in the shotgun again. The snap. He's gonna gun the ball to the pass. outside. That's Wheeler. Oh, Wheeler's got the ball. <laughs> and he's gonna take it down inside the ten to right around the nine. Yeah, that's it's going to be a Caldwell Lumber first down. It'll be first and goal for the Redskins. You know, fifth pass completion to Wheeler. Your coach Rucker, when the second half starts, it'll be a running clock, right? And Bender at the quarterback, shotgun. Don't want to miss this play. Same pass to the outside this time. Rockets are up and they grab him. Although he's, he yeah. slips away for a gain of right around four or five. That much closer yeah. to the goal line. You know, they, Dylan Wheeler, they've had him a number of times tonight where it's like, okay, we've got him. And well, we don't. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's yards after catch right. every time. Yeah, he is, he is very, very determined. And strong. He is, yes. Straight ahead, that's leak. leak. That's touchdown. touchdown. Touchdown from seven yards. So Gavin Leak, that's his second touchdown of the night. I don't know, John. They may run out of ammunition tonight. I'm, I'm not. I'm here. Yeah. I'm keep hearing the gun go off, but I'm thinking, okay, we, we may not have quite enough tonight. Oh, uh, mm. second half, I think things will slow down a little bit. I would agree yeah. with that. Yep. Two forty-four yep. left here in the second, and. Chaz Pfeffer on to try for the extra points. Snap, it's down, it's up, and good, good. So 244 left in the second. The score, Caldwell, 48, Canton Valley, nothing. We'll take a break. Back with more after this. Just like on the field, we believe in teamwork with our customers. This is Ashley Rich from the Farmers and Merchants Bank on the Square in Colwell. With our services, you can bank from your home, the office, or even at the stadium. You can sit back and enjoy the game knowing your money is in great hands. Good luck to all the local teams this year from everyone at the Farmers and Merchants Bank. Member FDIC. People's Bank's vision is to be the best community bank in America. People's Bank provides local, hometown relationship-based banking with 132 full-service branches for all of your financial needs. As your community bank, People's Bank strives to make our communities a better place to live, work, and play. We would love a chance to earn your business. People's Bank. Working together. Building success. Member FDIC. Chaz Pfeffer, Doan Ford kickoff. Seems like I've said that a few times uh -huh. tonight. Smith Brothers back deep to receive for Connaughton <laughs> Valley. Picked up by Noah Smith for the Rockets. The Ooh. 20, and oh, they're all over him. They're going to swarm him under right around the 20. Yep, and that was again number 20. I believe that was Cale Bender on the stop. Well, you know, we were just talking about that. I kind of have my doubts we're going to see number 28 in the second half. Well, yeah, it's, like I said, I, I think now if you're uh, – Chance Rucker, you got to be thinking injuries with Barnesville coming up next week. Uh, you don't want anybody hurt in a game like this. So Ethan Not, Kroc, Dylan Wheeler, Chase Norman, those guys may come out. They may play one series. They might. 
that's up to the coach. Yeah. That's why he makes the big bucks. Yeah. Putting him the quarterback outside. Oh, nice job nice. there. That is uh, number 21. Yeah. We've called his number. Yeah, we have. That's Brooks Bowers. Bowers. Yeah. He keeps playing hard. He's a junior. He's going to take it all the way out to the 41-yard line. First down for the Rockets. 18 yards on that pass play. And the Rockets have thrown it. That's the 18th pass attempt by the Rockets. But that, again, like we said, is almost a long handoff. Well, and the other thing is, is their quarterback, number 10, Zach Putnam, on 16 of those 18 attempts, he's been looking at a lot of black shirts. <laughs> They've been right up in his face. Been right in his grill. Here's a fake. Putnam. Again, pressure. Oh, nice job. Cam Wright, the 50, nice job. the 40, the 35. He's down into Caldwell territory, so here come the Rockets. Cam Wright with a nice catch. Great job by Zach Putnam. Connaughton Valley's in business in Caldwell yards. territory. 31 yards. Good pressure by the Redskins, but Putnam basically moved around a little bit, made some adjustments, and found his receiver right up the middle. Who caught that? That was Cam Wright, 24. Got him. Now. The snap. Putnam's back. He's looking. Pressure again. Oh, Guns it out. Open. That's right again. Yep. Right in right in front of number 16 is a cool. Yeah. Mr. Wright, he is. He is. Got it down to the down. Redskins 16 yard line. 147 left here in the first half. Don't look now. Rockets are trying to uh, get on the board. Get on the board. So, yeah. yeah. And that's one thing, you know, I like about Coach O'Hara here. He's, his kids, have, they are playing. They're coming right at you right now. Yep. So Good few, to see. A few subs in there for the Redskins. Putting them, slips a handoff to the inside. That's Number Noah two. Smith. And he's got a first down. That that's a Coldwell Lumber first down. Picks up two, got the first down. Still in business. 119 clock yeah. rolling here in the second quarter as we approach the half. Hey, we'll check see in with ONN at halftime. We'll try yeah. to round up some scores for you and Good. see what's going Good. on in the area. Yeah. John's going to compile all the stats. Oh, boy. So I'm telling you, that's always, always good stuff. Yeah. Now, you'll have a lot to add up, too. Yeah. Here's a throw by putting him to the outside. Wright's got it. Oh, man. He just couldn't. Yeah. Just couldn't quite get away. I think that was number nine, Devin Did, McKee, Devin who, McKee. Who grabbed him and wouldn't let him go. Yep. As they pick up four. Yes. Timeout, and Connaughton Valley uses their final timeout. Well. Well, yes. 45 seconds. Uh, you have to like this out of Connaughton Valley. Yeah. yeah. They're yep. working. Um, boy, down 48 to nothing. Just 45 seconds left here in the second quarter. And they're trying to put up some points on the board. Yeah, there are some different numbers out there for the Redskins defense. Good to see. Yes. Um, yes. And like I said, we're looking for a, a, just a few others. I mean, I, I really think we'll see very little of Chase Norman in the second half. Probably not. Probably not much of Ethan Kroc. Probably very little of Cale Bender. So. Yes. Hurling. So a lot of the other playmakers for the Redskins will probably be out. Putting them, the quarterback for the Rockets, is back. Looking pressure by Kroc. And he and throws the ball. Looking for right, but he had to throw the ball. Uh, yeah. Maybe a count before he wanted to because Ethan Kroc was coming in on him quickly. Yes, and, uh, you know, that's uh, something that we haven't, haven't said much about tonight. <laughs> well, is that sarcasm, John? Uh, it's dripping <laughs> with sarcasm. Telling you right now. I was going to say, if that's been the story of the first half. <laughs> Ethan Kroc is chasing Zach Putnam, and he's almost got him. Yeah, they that, may, he may ride home tonight with Putnam. <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you what, I think Putnam will dream about him. Not in a good way. No, nightmare. 
All right, and putting him the quarterback, the junior is back. He's looking, a lot of pressure yeah, again, really. and he eludes it. Got a man in the corner. Oh, what, what a kick. pick. That's Herlin. He's bringing Good it five, out. five, and he's going to take it up to the 10. Herlin what with a, a one-handed pick. What Whoa. a catch. That is athletic. That is athletic. You want to know something? I'm going to tell you something right now, John. You can't teach that. You have to have the ability <laughs> to do that. You have to be athletic. Exactly. That. He, he had Cam Wright in the corner. He yeah. had him. He had yeah. time. He set his feet. He threw a good pass. <laughs> It everything, was there. Everything. everything was right, except for that left hand of Alex Herlin that went up and I, snagged it right in front of right. Man, that was uh. something to watch. It really was. I'm glad that was. I'm glad we're streaming that. That may be the play of the game right yeah. there. Bender, the quarterback, is back. He's looking. Guns the ball. Yeah. Herlin makes the catch at the 30. Clock is rolling. It gets out of bounds, so you got 29.4 seconds yards. left. Redskins still rolling that offense out there. They're going to go on with the quick snap here. Trips yeah. all the way out to the right side. Yeah, little little uh, practice on the two-minute drill. Herland, the single receiver on the left. The snap. Bender's back looking for Herland. has got him down the field, and he's pushed out of bounds mm -hmm. by number 21. Mm -hmm. That's Brooks Bauer. Going to pick up about... Uh, they say it was incomplete. I think he may have been out of bounds when okay. he caught it. Okay, I couldn't, we can't hardly tell from up here. It's all happening pretty quickly. No doubt about it. Yeah, and that's clear on the other side. Kale Bender, the quarterback in shotgun formation. The snap, Bender's back, looking, looking. Got to gun the ball to the sideline. Here's Wheeler, the 30, the 35, all the way out yeah. to the 40 yard line. No, make it the 39, yep, excuse six me. Yards. 17.5 seconds left here in the second quarter. Caldwell Lumber first down for the Skins. Bender in the shotgun. Back, looking down the middle of the field. Nice pass. Oh, That's are you Wheeler. kidding me? Grabs it. He makes another man miss. He's going to score now. Oh, he's bring him down. down. Shoe string tackle. <laughs> are you kidding me? Guess who made the shoestring tackle? That was Bauer. Bauer. Who's done that all night long. 30, 34, 44, 54, so 30, it's 42, Dylan, 44 yards. Dylan Wheeler's turn to make a one-handed oh, catch. Can he, you believe that? He reached out with one hand, grabbed that ball. He was right down the seam, John. <laughs> it, it's, it's all happening so quick, we don't have time to call it. No, in 8.2 <laughs> seconds left. 48 go. nothing. We're coming down yeah. to halftime, and, and Connaughton Valley, they can't believe it because they were on they were on the verge of a score yeah, just a few seconds ago. Yeah, and all of ago. a sudden, uh, you know, they turned over, figured the clock's going to run out for halftime, and now they're backed up against the end zone again, and 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 uh, just <laughs> two very <laughs> athletic catches, one on the defense and one on the offense. What can you say? I mean, well, I mean it's the, just amazing. And they were they were great catches too. Both yes. of them, both oh. of them were outstanding oh. plays. <laughs> You know you and can't you can't teach no, that. No, I think I've said that oh, before. No, yeah. no, that's uh, that's just. Uh, oh look, they're they're gonna. Oh, I like yeah, it. Yeah, that's good. All good right. idea. Run the clock out and go yeah. ahead. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Oh, 2.5 of the oh timeout called well. What? I know they're gonna try oh, a field goal. Oh, they're gonna try a field goal. Okay. All right. So yeah. Th well, this, this is something. That, I, yes, can, I see it. I yeah I I, I get it. I get it. Number yeah, 34, Chaz Pfeffer, is yeah. the kicker. And, and uh, you know, that, uh, uh, I'm sure that's looking at next week. Uh, this is probably going to be around a 26-yard attempt, John. This, yep, is, this, is not the, a, this is not a chip shot for Pfeffer. Let's see what he can do with it. Well, he's got the leg, that's for sure. Wheeler is the holder. 2.5 seconds left, the snap. It's down, it's up, it is... Good! <laughs> How about that? <laughs> well, oh that's, that is going to do it. And, you know, they've tried everything. Yes. <laughs> and you and I were both going, what are they call? Oh, they're going to try a field goal. And, yeah. <laughs> boy, all right, halftime score. And what do you, we've got a lot to add up here. We're going to, 
take yeah. a break here. It's 51 nothing Caldwell at the half. We're going to take a break. We're going to check in with the ONN. John's going to try to add all these numbers up. Uh, we're going to try to find some scores, and uh, we'll be back with more halftime activities right after this. From the Ohio News Network, this is the Ohio Education Association Tonight in High School Football. Named best sports program in the country by the National Association of State Radio Networks. Tonight in High School Football is presented by Bex Hybrids. Now here's your host, Skip Mossick. And hi again everyone, welcome to Tonight in High School Football's Halftime Report. This evening we'll talk a little officiating with Bo Rugg, who heads that up for the OHSAA. We'll chat with Bo next on the Ohio News Network. I'm Ohio Education Association President Scott DeMauro, and on behalf of the OEA's 120,000 members, we're proud to bring you tonight's game. Our members are the public school educators who coach your kids on and off the field because we believe in the potential of every student and their right to a high-quality public education, no exceptions. That's why we will continue to speak in one voice to demand the supports and resources our public schools need because public education matters. Every farmer has their reason for why they do what they do. For Becks, it's faith, family, and farming. Since 1937, the Beck family and family of employees have been committed to honoring God and helping farmers succeed. Farming is full of extremes, and we face the challenges with hard work and steadfast determination, delivering quality line of products backed by legendary customer service. We look forward to standing by your side, supporting you as you live out the life you were meant to live. Bex, when it comes to farming, we believe in something more. This is Tonight in High School Football on the Ohio News Network. Once again, here's Skip Mossick. We are presented by Bex Hybrids. At Bex, they are and will remain farmers at heart. And welcome back, everyone. Halftime of your game. We're joined for a few minutes this evening by Bo Rugg, Director of Officiating and Sports Management with the OHSAA. And, Bo, we know there's been a concerted effort the last couple of years for outreach to recruit new officials. Have those efforts been effective? And I guess in what areas have you had the most success? Well, they have been effective. We've had the most success, really, on getting people interested. Uh, you know, since we went online training, we've got, oh, gosh, uh, last year we had over 4,000 apps out there. And and as far as uh, new officials, probably about 700 across all sports. Um, I think what our issue is now that our challenge and we're working through it is to get more clinic type based things to get them some experience before they actually go out on the field court. Um, that's that's what we're working on and, and uh, so far so good. We've had an uptick this year and we're looking to uh, continue that trend. Bo, I know many times football officials are former players who want to stay involved with the sport. Do you encourage this? I guess even planting a seed while they're still in school. Absolutely, yeah. we got about 50 some schools that are um, teaching some um, officiating uh, classes uh, as part of curricula, and that really helps us. Uh, we like to plant the seed. You know, um, 96 point something of our athletes aren't going to play at the next level, and then you go to the next level, and that it's another 98% of those aren't going to play at the following level. So uh, we'd like to keep them involved in the game, and then and, and serving others by being an official. You know, Bo, we've asked you about this in the past, but we get the question all the time. In football, are there typically crews, or do you assign individuals from game to game? Well, regular season is almost all crews. 99% um, <clears throat> is crews. Uh, what we do in playoffs, uh, weeks 11 and 12, we do crews from around the state, and then uh, um, I make up 56 crews. For the following weeks, uh, obviously we have 56 games on week 13, 28 on week 14, uh, 14 on 15, and seven in the finals. And those crews are made up, and so those people working finals uh, that are made up from different uh, individual people will have worked um, four games together, and that's a good thing. One of the things we try to do, especially when we're making up those crews, is even though we're, we're making up from individuals, we're going to have some people that are on the same crew together and they're at the same level, so we'll keep them together. So I've probably got, I don't know, 60% of those crews that I make up 
have at least one other or two other people that work together all the time. So uh, we'll try to group people together if we can. Uh, we definitely keep them, um, for the most part, uh, from the same uh, area of the state. You know, Bo, last thing, if people are interested in becoming an official, there are details on the OHSAA webpage, but I guess how long of a process is it to go through the class and the certification process, and are there different levels, I guess, of certification to become a referee versus, say, a line judge, back judge, et cetera? That's a great question. No, there aren't. Um, you just become an official in football, and then you, you end up, when you work lower-level games, you probably work in a lot of different positions, and uh, through a season, and that's where you really learn and and kind of get what you want. The process takes, you know, it's it's individual. Since you're taking it online, um, you can do it in a, you know, two day period, or you can take a month. Um, you're just going to watch the modules and go through it, and 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 then get through that. And what happens a lot of times is people just get really interested and do it faster because they just, you know, it's like. Uh, like eating candy, you know, you just keep eating. <laughs> well, it is halftime. I guess you just made everybody hungry. Bo Rugg, Director of Officiating and Sports Management with the Ohio High School Athletic Association. Bo, we always appreciate your time. Thank you. Anytime, Skip. Take care. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and we'll be back to wrap up this week's Ohio Education Association tonight in high school football, a halftime report presented by Bex Hybrids next on the Ohio News Network. Bex recognizes this week's player with heart, Kobe Four, from Paulding High School for his commitment and passion on the field and within the farming community. I just like how it takes a whole group to do it. You can't just do it on your own. And when you do it and you build tight bonds with everyone on that field. Kobe loves football and his teammates, but he's also involved in Habitat for Humanity and crushing cans for cancer. But one of his favorite activities is doing service projects for FFA. We had to go around the uh, town square and take down different posts and stuff like that. And they just need touched up a little bit to make them easier to change all the different banners and everything we hang on them. And through it all, he's developed a passion for farming. It means basically everything. If you think about it, everywhere you look, agriculture somehow has their part in things. The farming, the livestock, soils. At Bex, we are in Will Remain Farmers at Heart. This, this is ONN. Our thanks once again to Bo Rugg, Director of Officiating and Sports Management with the Ohio High School Athletic Association for joining us this evening. If you have any questions and want more information about becoming an Ohio High School official, simply visit their website at ohsaa.org. Enjoy the second half of your ball game. I'm Skip Mossick on the Ohio News Network. This has been the Ohio Education Association tonight in high school football. Presented by Bex Hybrids. A reminder, you can listen to many of our affiliate broadcasts from across the state at onnradio.com. From the Ohio News Network. Welcome back to the fairgrounds in Caldwell. Bill Castler, John Seacrest with you here. And to say it's been all Redskins is kind of an understatement. It's uh, 51 nothing at the half. It has been all Caldwell, John. They have dominated this football game uh, from kickoff to the halftime gun. Uh, make no mistake about it, even when Connaughton Valley was uh, in, the, in their peak, they were close to a touchdown here late in the second quarter. Looked for a second like they had a receiver open in the corner of the end zone. Uh, enter Alex Herlin. Enter Alex Herlin, and they made a, uh, a, a one handed interception. Yeah, uh, you know, and as I say, uh, that's a next level interception. Uh, you know, very athletic, and then you come to the next offensive series. A Cale uh, Bender throws one down the middle in traffic, and Dylan Wheeler makes a one handed catch. Yeah, so Wheeler's, yeah. Wheeler's was right handed. Herlin's was left-handed. I, you know, I, I, I don't rate them, but I'll tell you something right now. You don't see that too often in high school football. So, Connaughton Valley went from being on the verge of scoring yeah. to getting something on the board to, and then Caldwell ran it down to 2.5 seconds left before the half and kick took a timeout, and we're going, what? And then all of a sudden it dawns on us they're going to practice kicking field goals, yep. and here comes Chaz Pfeffer. And he kicks a 26-yarder right down the middle. 
to when make it, it 51 uh, to make it 51 to nothing but uh uh yeah you know the redskins just haven't taken their foot off the gas uh, and uh, as we talked about that uh, you probably think that uh there will be a lot of substitutions in the second half because the redskins have a big ball game coming up next week against an undefeated Barnesville team, and they will be undefeated because they're really putting one on shady side as we speak yeah, this hey, evening. Got, got some of those scores too. Uh, incidentally, you're listening to the McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home Halftime Report. Uh, let's check in now with our Sue Snowed. I have to practice this. Yeah. Sue Snowed State Farm Insurance Scoreboard. That's, okay. It's hard to say, okay? Well, so quick. anyway, I've, I've got that down, and as you said, uh, Barnesville's all over Shady Side. Tigers aren't quite what they used to be, but it's 47 to nothing at the half. Uh, Shenandoah is up on Buckeye Local at the half, 30 to 13. It's East Liverpool over Cambridge, 41 to 20 at the half. Buckeye Trail is beating Tuscarora's Central Catholic, 57 nothing at the half. And it's John Glenn over Meadowbrook, 35 to nothing at the half, and uh, nobody's really having a very good football game uh, tonight. Yeah, and, uh, our, our, well, our, our sister stations are going through the same thing we are. No doubt about yeah. it. Uh, this game has been dominated by uh, Caldwell. Uh, John, I, I know <laughs> you you, you kind of did a, a quick uh, tally on the numbers. Um, what, what do you have over there? Does it tell a story? Way too much to weigh not enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, about what it amounts to. Uh, believe it or not, Cale Bender has thrown it 24 times, 40, or 23 times. He's 17 of 23 uh, for, for the first half. And uh, one interception, by the way. He did throw, he did throw an interception uh, over the middle and uh, kind of, like you said, put a little air in it. It was kind of wounded duck, and it, and it got picked off. But that's about the only mistake he's made. You, you put it right. I think he was being a little bit too careful. He's also thrown three touchdown passes. Yes. So, yes. yeah, he, yeah, he made a mistake. All right. Uh, yeah, Redskins are up 51 to nothing. And uh, they're, they're just dominating in every facet of this football yeah. game. He, uh, Ethan Crox made six catches for 67 yards. Alex Herlin has uh, six catches for 82 yards, and Dylan Wheeler has seven catches for 126 yards. Hey, so there, yeah. there you are, rushing. Redskins, not much uh, on the ground. Uh, Dylan Wheeler uh, has uh, 77 yards on the ground, 156 yard run for him, Gavin Leak. 38 yards on the ground, and Ben Kale Benders picked up 34. But uh, most of the damage has been done through the air by uh, Kale Bender, 17 of 23. That's uh, that that's pretty good. You look at the other statistic, and it didn't take too long. But Zane Putnam has thrown it eight uh, 23 times for 72 yards. Bill, eight, he's eight of 23. Yeah, and, 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 and I, I know he's thrown a pick, or I think he's yeah, just thrown he's one thrown pick. Yeah, he's thrown an interception. Uh, two. Two interceptions. Yeah, because there, yeah, was, there was the one on, on the his, screen pass early. Yeah. And then and that spectacular interception by, by Herlin. Yeah. And, uh, you know, hey, I don't want to interrupt you from your take – a, take a look on the football field, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's that alumni uh, alumni band. I know a lot of those that were in – yeah. in that alumni band. So the, the marching Redskins are out and they are in full force tonight. You have to like the looks of this, yes. don't you? Oh yeah, See it's it on fun. the field and it's it's kind of fun to see and they sound really, really good. So uh, this is the uh, Cambridge, excuse me, the Caldwell High School marching band and the Caldwell High School alumni band. Uh, so they have a great sound and uh, we're happy to see them out here at the half as a uh, nice job on those stats yeah. there, buddy. Yeah, I know you probably broke, well, the, ca I, I, broke I, the calculator on that one, oh, didn't you? Oh, yeah. I had to take my shoes off to get over 20. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Uh, Wright was the re leading receiver for uh, Canaan Valley. He has uh, five catches for 54 yards. So uh, 
not a whole lot uh, going. The leading rusher was Luke Smith with 17 yards, all unofficially, folks. But uh, I, I can uh, tell you uh, with uh, pretty good sincerity that uh, there was not much offense on the Canaan Valley side in that first half. And like you said, there was a whole lot going uh, on uh, as, as far as, uh, you know, and I'll tell you something else I see on the sidelines for Canaan Valley. I see the quarterback, number 10, Zach Putnam, yeah. on the trainer's table. Yeah. And I also see number nine, the backup quarterback, Caden Leggett, just a freshman, taking snaps on the sideline. He is. As that, we, that tells you something yeah. right there. Yeah, that he is probably going to see a lot of action in this second half for Canaan Valley. And then we'll wait and see who's going to see action for the Redskins, as uh, I know that going through the coaching staff mind is uh, injuries now and they don't want to get anybody hurt. And you really can't blame them. Oh, no, you got to uh, think that way. So we're going to see a lot of fresh jerseys here, plus 51 to nothing. The cl it's going to be the, the minute the second half starts, we're going to have a running clock. Yep, and it will probably go on for uh, both quarters. I would say so. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, hang on, Sloopy. Look at that. Yeah. So hang on, Redskins. 51 yep. nothing. <laughs> hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got to love it. A lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Yep, that's what it's all about. Hey, the score at the half, it is Caldwell 51, Connaughton Valley nothing. We're going to take a quick break here, and uh, we'll be back with more halftime activities and the second half kickoff right after this. People's Bank's vision is to be the best community bank in America. People's Bank provides local, hometown relationship-based banking with 132 full-service branches for all of your financial needs. As your community bank, People's Bank strives to make our communities a better place to live, work, and play. We would love a chance to earn your business. People's Bank. Working together. Building success. Member FDIC. Most of us are faced with uncertainty every day. Your job, your finances, sporting events, schooling for your children, and so much more. With so much uncertainty surrounding you, there's one auto dealership that you can be certain about, and that's Doan Ford. You can be certain that you'll always get a great deal and the best service afterwards. In business for nearly 60 years has given Doan Ford the reputation of being a strong, reliable dealership. Be certain. Choose Doan Ford online at DoanFord.com. Are you looking to spruce things up in your home at Boy? Precision Painting. They specialize in painting and refinishing kitchen cabinetry, bath vanities, trim doors, household furniture, and more. With years of experience and knowledge of the improvements in technology, they use the highest quality coatings to assure chemical and physical resistance and longevity. Give your home an updated look at an affordable price and call today for your free consultation, 740-581-BOYD. That's 740-581-2693. Serving Southeast Ohio and surrounding areas. Go Redskins! Your home and your car are likely your two biggest investments. Protecting them from unexpected damage is a prime concern to WB Green Insurance. They are proud to represent Westfield Insurance, a financial service organization that provides insurance products for your home, auto, and business. Sharing knowledge, building trust is Westfield Insurance's pledge to their customers, along with personalized claim service that's fast and friendly. To learn how Westfield can help with your insurance needs, talk to WB Green Insurance today. Now located at 16050 McConnellsville Road in Caldwell, Ohio, Patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance Company is a mutual insurance company established in 1896 for the purpose of providing insurance coverage to rural Ohio. They offer a product to meet your insurance need, whether it is for a farm, rental dwelling, home in town, secondary or seasonal dwelling, churches, or mobile home. They partner with Grinnell Mutual Insurance Company to offer liability coverage to package with their patrons' Buckeye Mutual policy. Call today at 638-3604 and follow them on Facebook at Patrons Buckeye. When a loved one dies, the remaining family members are oftentimes overcome with sadness, grief, confusion, and stress. If you are burdened with planning a funeral, let the experience and compassion of the McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home staff ease the difficult situation at hand. Ken and Robin Perkins will guide you through the process of making arrangements. Phone McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home of downtown Caldwell at 732-4223 or their web address is mcveigh-perkins.com. We're back at the fairgrounds in Caldwell. Boy, they got 
There's a lot of people out there in the football field. There, oh, yes. Boy, yes. that looked good. They, uh -huh. Alumni band, they, they were a... Uh, a pretty popular outfit. A lot, a lot hopefully of they don't. There. Hopefully they don't need the squad for any of them. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah if you'd have gone to high school here, you might have been out there. What did no, you, no, no. you play? Saxophone? What was your? Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I went to Pleasant City. I know you did. Yeah, I, I, uh, I played the drums. If you want to. Oh, you know. did. You're a drummer. Did. Okay. All I right. did. I played the drums and the cymbal and the, sometimes the bass drum. All right. But I. Had a little trouble keeping the beat. So. There you go. Want to bang on the drum all day, huh? There you go. Yeah. There's, an old, there's an old song in there somewhere. All right. 51 nothing at the half. John, a question comes up here as we wrap up our McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home halftime report. What are you looking for in the second half? We already know Connaughton Valley's quarterback is on the sidelines, on the trainer's table. I think he might have turned an ankle here very, very late in the uh, first half. So we're not looking for him to be back. Looks like uh, the freshman quarterback is going to be in there, number nine. That is, um, or excuse me, number seven, Caden Leggett. Yeah. Freshman. So uh, he's just a yeah. freshman. Um, so he's going to get to see some time under center for Connaughton Valley. We had talked. We thought maybe Chance Rucker would put his starters back in for just the first drive of the second half. You know, 51 nothing. Or do you, maybe he'll call the dogs off. What do you think? Uh, injury is the big word right now for the Redskins. You know, there's no question about the outcome of this. You don't need to take, you know, a lot of risks or anything with the, your uh, players that, you're, that, that you count on. Uh, and, you know, we've mentioned it <laughs> about as many times as, uh, you know, we called the uh, Ethan Crocs name in the first half. But uh, Barnesville coming in uh, as an undefeated team next week, you know, you want to be at full strength and you don't want to get anybody hurt. So I, I would think that that would have to be foremost on the coaches' minds, whether they go elect to go for a one series with their starters or not that's uh will be up to the, the head coach head coach who has his hat turned around backwards so i don't know what that means <laughs> okay, i went down and talked to him in pregame. he had his hat turned around backwards then too so i think that's yeah, i think that's his trademark just an indicator of how he was looking at things tonight it was you know what we and he told me right at the beginning of this football game before we started he said we think the matchups are in our right. favor. We think that in every position we have an advantage. Um, the coach of the Connaughton Valley Rockets told me, he said, line play will be the key if we, we can hold our block. And they haven't been able to hold their blocks. They, they, they have not, no. uh, Ethan Kroc has been living in the Rockets' backfield. Yeah, he, um, and I'm looking for him to probably get most of the uh, second half off, as I am uh, Cale Bender. Again, uh, you make a good point. How, how long do you keep those guys in there? Do you put them in, if at all, in the second I, half? Yeah, that's, uh, you know, I fortunately, uh, you and I don't have to make that decision. Uh, but uh, I, like I said, uh, the situation with the Redskins and their schedule coming up dictates we don't want anybody hurt. Because right after uh, the uh, Barnesville game, they go to Fort Fry. Yeah, two of the two, two of the biggest games, games on the schedule. Yeah, and, and Fort yeah. Fry didn't have a very good year last year. They've rebounded some this year, so they're having a little bit better year, much more cadet-like, uh, and they're usually pretty tough. So that'll be a, a, an interesting game down in Beverly. Yeah, we, uh, the Redskins go to Beverly. Uh, tough place to play for that game and. Uh, uh, tomorrow, the uh, cadets will get a test at Wheeling against Central. Se uh, no, against uh, Park. No, the uh, shoot boy. I knew you were going to ask me that. Not a senior. Well, you brought it senior, up. <laughs> senior, <laughs> senior, <laughs> senior moment. The harder I try to think about it, the farther away it, uh, okay. it, it gets. Uh, the uh, private school over there. Catholic Central. No. No. Oh, Lindsley. Went Lindsley. They got Lindsley tomorrow, so that, that will that, be a test. That will be. They're that always good. That will be good. a test, yes. They're always good. Yep. And so uh, 
The next two weeks after this will be interesting for the Redskins. No question they will be a playoff team and probably will host at least one round. With 16 getting in, I don't think there's too much uh, doubt. Yeah. Hey, there's yeah. one more thing. I do want to make a point here. Before okay. we start. Um, you're going to look at Connaughton Valley, and a lot of the fans are going to say, well, they're not taking, they're not putting their second string in. Well, well they're, they're 22 deep. So they don't have a lot of players to put in. Okay. Well, they've only got 16 left now yeah, with uh, the that, quarterback out. That's right. So I think they've yeah. got around 20. I think they've got around 21 or 22. So they've got 21 left they've with got, the quarterback got, out. Uh, yeah, they got uh, 11 out there and eight on the sideline. So they've got uh, uh, 19 right right there, not not including the quarterback. So 20 uh, including him. So yeah, uh, you know, and uh, at, at this point in time, they, uh, the, the playing time will go ahead because the Redskins are gonna, surely are gonna go down, you know, to some second unit players at this time. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll and they can gain some experience there. Against, yeah, well, and, and the Redskins are gonna get the ball, so we're gonna know yeah. right away what he's going to do. Uh, I, I am guessing, like like I believe, like you believe, we'll see a lot of, we won't see any of a lot of the starters in the second half for Caldwell. Uh, he'll call the dogs off and he'll give his backup players some experience that's, that's valuable. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and like we say, a lot of the uh, players on the, on the uh, line and linebackers are, are very young, freshmen and sophomores. But uh, their starters are out there to receive the kickoff. Is Dylan Wheeler and... Uh, well, you know yeah. what? And I'm just going to say this out loud, too. Special teams are a little different. Yeah. And it, you know, the, sometimes coaches, they tend to go when you're, you know, fielding those kicks. They want somebody with experience back there. Well, you got to have your good hands, people. You know, it's like the uh, all state. Herlin and, hands people. Herlin and Wheeler uh, kind of showed that they are oh. good hands people in the first <laughs> half. Just just so happens they're the two back there. They're uh -huh. they're the ones that made the spectacular plays in the first half. They did. All they right, did. here we go. Low line drive, squib kick by the Rock. It's going to roll out of bounds, I think. Yep. And it's, that's going to give the Redskins good starting field position. Let's oh, see. Yeah, yeah, you First thing I'm looking for is 28 going to be on the field. Let's see. When uh, the kickoff went out of bounds, that's why there's a flag. The yeah, PA, sure. That's PA thought we had a penalty. Yeah, well, well it, it, is it is a penalty, a penalty it technically. Is a penalty, te so, but it's going to yes. give it's going to give the Redskins the ball first and 10 on their own 35. Yep, as here comes in number 16, is he cool? And he is the backup quarterback. Is it Isaac? Uh, it's spelled Isaac. I Isaac. I see. I Isaac. 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 I no, it's Isaac. Got to be Isaac. Okay. No matter how we say it, cool. He's cool. He's cool. He's we'll cool. Call him cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> call him cool. All right. I forget. I heard Tad pronounce his name. To Isaac? me today, I think it is Isaac. Isaac, is it cool? So we'll say yeah. it this one time. <laughs> He's just cool now. <laughs> yeah. And he will be the quarterback in this first possession. Like it. Yes. And I'm seeing a lot of fresh numbers out there yeah. on the offensive line. So, as we said, there'll be some backups in. Yep. I 30, think 20, 32 is in, Samuel Pierce. 21, Jarrett Van Fossen, yeah. I think, is in. So, yeah. yeah, a lot of backups in. Yep. And Isaac is in shotgun. Cool, gets the snap. The give to Van Fossen straight yep. ahead. Got Flags flag. on the player yeah. right away. So Van Fossen is going to take it ahead for right around eight. Let's yeah. see what the flag is. Yeah, that's... Uh, Holding. Holding. So that's going to back up the skins here. Ten yards. Penalty at the line of scrimmage. So it'll be first and 20. That is the fourth penalty against the Redskins this game. And this quarter is going to be very quick moving. Yeah, boy, she's a running. 
Clock will not stop. Cool the quarterback in shotgun formation. The snap, the give. To number 32. All right, start getting the scorebook out. Yeah. 32, that's 32, Samuel that's Pierce. Samuel Pierce. All right, Sam, nice gain on first down. Or that's first down, yes. Yeah. It's going to be a gain of right around eight on the play. Eight. So a good yeah. job that time by the Caldwell second string. And again, they're facing many of the starters for oh, yeah. Connaughton Valley. Yeah, Connaughton Valley doesn't, like we said. They're just not very deep. Yeah, they're not very deep, so. Cool the quarterback in shotgun formation. The snap, the give. Yeah, that's again, again. it's Pierce. Yep, and he's not going anywhere this time. Same play and uh, Caldwell, or excuse me, Connaughton Valley says, "Hey, we've seen that." Yeah, and they they read it pretty well and knocked him down. It's going to bring up third down and twelve for the Redskins. Number twenty. Uh, who's, who's the back in there? Who's, Jaren, Jaren. who's the backup punter? Do you know? Do not know. So do not know. we know Cale Bender's the punter yeah, normally. Do, do you, not do you, know. Do he may in, come in to punt. He may. Yeah. Yeah. 44 in the lineup. That's uh, Owen Hunt, a sophomore. All Jaron right. Van Fossen in there. Cool the quarterback in shotgun formation. The snap. The give. That's Van Fossen. He's going to take it ahead. Yeah. It's a nice gain to right around the 39-yard line. Won't be enough for a first down. Redskins in the punting situation. It is, and let's see who comes in to punt. That'll be interesting. Yeah, to me. I don't know who the reserve team punter is. And it's cool. Yeah, going to be. Yeah, I think Cool's the punter. Yep. 16 is the punter. So let's see what we've got here. Is it Cool is going to uh, show us what kind of, oh, a little low snap. He bobbles it, picks that it up. Gets up a nice kick. Not a bad kick. Yeah. Fair catch called for by Cannot. Takes a nice oh, Caldwell roll. Yes, it does. Got to check up right around the 24 and. Uh, Down by Havison Petri. Yeah. Downs it for the Redskins. So it's a nice Cool punt. <laughs> Uh, I know. We're struggling, folks. <laughs> I'll get some yeah, mileage. We're, we're I'll get struggling. Some, I'll get some mileage out of that. 8.42 left here in the uh, third quarter. 51 nothing Caldwell. Yep. Clock does stop on a change of possession. And starts, now it starts. Once they get it yep. spotted, they start it again. Yep. Once the change are set. So quarterback Caden Leggett. Freshman. For the Rockets, he's just a freshman. Oh, excuse me, that's number nine. Straight ahead. Oh, he breaks here. a run. Look at here. It's and Smith. And he's, he's down been. the field. The 30, the 20, and finally, the 15. Brought down by the Redskins. And, 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 that's number, number two. Jaron Van Fossen. Yeah, so Noah he, Smith. He picked. So Noah picks up about uh, 56 yards on that carry. So, wow. Hey, Leggett's feeling, that Caden Leggett's feeling pretty good. I yeah. hand the ball off once. We're, we're yeah. doing well. Why wasn't I in there the whole time? Yeah, boy. Well, and as I said, number 60, Chase Norman, not in the middle of that no. line anymore. No. We're not seeing. 77 in there. That's uh, yeah. Jack Surdy. Uh, it's like 71 in there. Blake Williams, is he yeah. in there? Yeah. I right. believe so, yeah. All right, here's straight ahead, Smith again, and he's yeah. got some more room. Well, he's pushing the pile toward the goal line. So he, that's going to be a Caldwell Lumber first, first down. down. First and goal for the Rockets. So he's pick, picked up 66 yards on his first uh, two carries of the half. Timeout, Caldwell. Yeah, they're uh, they're gonna talk to the defense yeah. a little bit here. Yeah, they're gonna say, "Listen, we've got yep. a fifty-one nothing lead. You don't do that." So I don't think we'll see any of the other. This is this is experience. Ev I, evidently, I uh, they have elected not to go with the one series, which probably is a wise move. Yeah. Well, we'll just have to see how Connaughton Valley responds 
even yep. with their backup quarterback in. Yep. And I'll tell you what, I noticed that the court, the starting quarterback, Putnam, is still on the trainer's table down here. Yeah, he has not moved. Let's see, 62 in there. Ethan Ryder is in on the defensive line for the Redskins. Try to get the numbers of all of them that are in there. Here's the pitch straight ahead. And he's not going anywhere this time. Yeah, you know, that's uh, Noah Smith again. Yeah. Not quite as much room down uh, on the inside. You know, when you get in a red zone, a little tougher. Yep. Blaine Hill in there on the defensive line also for the Redskins. Wyatt Williams also in there. Hunter Petrie in the uh, defensive backfield. Yeah. All right, here's the snap to give straight ahead. Smith fighting to get to the goal line. He's down to the one. So third and goal now for the Rockets. They're knocking on the door here. Redskin defense like to keep that shutout going, yeah. but you know, you, you've got to give these guys an opportunity to see what they can do. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And, and this it, is a great, because you're really looking at most of the starters for Connaughton Valley. Yeah. They're still yeah, in there. Yeah, and no problem with that. Not yeah, they, they just don't have a deep, deep enough team to uh, put a whole lot of guys in, in a backup role. The snap. They give straight ahead, touchdown, touchdown. Connaughton Valley. Yep, that's... Uh, Rockets are on the board. Yeah, number six, got a one yard touchdown. Luke Smith, yep. one of the Smith brothers. So 51 to six, 522 left in the third. And the clock continues to run even though the Rockets have scored. Yeah, and that's the thing about it. It's not going to take long to run through this. No, no. So Leggett brings them up. They're going to go for two here. Yep, don't blame them. I don't know that they have a kicker. That may be part of the problem. The snap. Leggett rolls, fires a pass. He's got a man got a out man. there. That's number 23. That that's is the punter, Charles Decker. Charles Decker. Yep. Charles has earned those two points right there. It's going to be 51 to 8. 450 left here in the third quarter. Redskins with a big lead. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with more from the fairgrounds right after this. Everyone's looking for an encouraging sign in today's economy. The fact is, you'll find one right here in Caldwell at State Farm Sue Snow's office. Because State Farm agents like Sue have been here helping people protect the things that matter most. That's why more people trust State Farm, and they consider that a very good sign. See State Farm agent Sue Snow at 400 East Street, Caldwell. Sue Snow State Farm is a proud supporter of high school sports. Back at the fairgrounds, getting ready for the Doan Ford kickoff. This time, the Rockets are kicking to the Redskins. This is the first time we've yes, had to first that. time we've had to say that, yes. So the special team kickoff unit is in for the Redskins. Low line drive kick, one of the up men tries to yeah. grab it, falls on it, yeah. right around the 35. And that was number 20. Jared, Jared Van, Van Fossen fell on it. Alumni band having a good time. Yes, they there. are. Barbara Ann. Yep. All right. Is it cool? The quarterback in shotgun formation. Here's the snap. Cool. Guns a pass to the outside. That That's is picked up. That is Hunter Parks. Yeah, I believe so. Number three. Yep. Pick. Parks is a senior. Yep. So. Nice gain on first down as Cool completes a five-yard pass to Parks. 
Second down and two, clock rolling here in the third quarter, just 3.44 left in the third. Of course, we're on that running clock. Cool, yeah. the quarterback. The snap. And that's Jet number sweep. four, Hunter Petri. Yeah, Petri with a nice gain, the 50, the 45, the 40. Yeah, Petri picks up yeah. well, I'll tell 23 you what, yards. He was running hard. Yes. He, bro he broke three or four tackles. Petri right up the middle, little jet sweep, turned it up and found some room. He's all the way down to the Connaughton Valley 40. That's a Caldwell Lumber first down. So Redskins moving the football again. Yep. 77 in on the offensive line, Jack Surdy. Number three splits out wide, that's Hunter Parks. 21 splits out, Jarrett Van Fossen. Cool, the quarterback. The jet sweep again. Petri with the football this didn't, time. Didn't get there. Yeah. Rockets kind of recognizing yep. that one, and they came up and swarmed him under. He gained about two on the play, I think. But he stayed inbounds. Didn't make it, doesn't make any difference. Clock I know. rolls. I know. <laughs> Clock rolls. <laughs> 222 left here in the third. Cool. So far, the star of the show has been the alumni band. It has been. <laughs> cool, the quarterback. The snap. Ah, here we go. That's uh, 32 with 30. the football. That is Sam Pierce. Yep. Pierce. Nice gain. He's close to a first down. Don't know if he quite. No, he didn't made quite the make marker. It. Nope, they're going to spot it at about the uh, 34. Yeah, so he's about uh, four, four yards yard short. Third and four. I definitely think the Redskins are in four down territory. Oh, without a doubt. Yes. Cool in the shotgun formation. Snap the give. Here's Pierce again. Yep, and he's. He runs out of bounds. Runs I don't, think, out of bounds. I don't think he made it. No. Not even close. I think he's yeah. down to maybe the 32. It's yeah. going to bring up a fourth down. Picked up maybe one. And see it was they, a short one. See where <laughs> they mark it. Yeah, yep. about, about right. Yeah. So it's going to be fourth down and probably three to go for the yeah. Redskins. They will go for it. See if the... Line number 62 in, that, that's Ethan Ryder. Two wide outs in this set. Straight up the middle, let's see. Uh -huh. Oh, a little motion. Oh, they didn't call it, they didn't no. move. Snap, the give, Pierce cuts it up. He's oh, got it got and there's hold. flags all over the place. Yeah. Pierce is gonna have the first down. He's gonna be knocked down right around the 10 yard line, but that's coming back. Yep, holding. Holding against the Redskins. Or legal procedure. Wow. Usually okay. that. Uh, That's going to cost them five. And, and, you know, the clock doesn't stop. That's probably going last, to be the final play yeah. of the third quarter, John. Yep. Illegal pro there. All right. Yep. That will do it. Five yard penalty moves the ball all the way back to the Canton Valley 41 yard line. It'll be fourth and 12. Redskins looking at a punt, but that's going to do uh, do it for the third quarter. The score after three, it is Caldwell 51, Connaughton Valley 8. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this. Celebrating a decade of deliciousness, Patty's Place has been serving homestyle cook meals since 2013. Indulge in their homemade pies daily and enjoy breakfast served all day long. They're open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Sundays. Don't forget to check out their Facebook page for daily specials. Conveniently located between Bell Valley and Caldwell on State Route 821. Come on over and satisfy your cravings at Patty's Place. Back at the fairgrounds, we are ready now for the fourth quarter. Redskins with a commanding 51 to eight lead on the Connaughton Valley Rockets. Uh, John, we've got a lot of fresh jerseys in the game, so a lot of guys getting yep. some varsity experience here. 
Redskins uh, looking ahead now toward the next week uh, and the undefeated Barnesville Colton. Shamrocks coming into town. Colton Hender shot into the game now, freshman. Yep, a lot of kids getting some playing time. Let's see if uh, they're going to punt with Cool again. No, I don't think so. There's number th Hunter Parks flanks out to the right. And it's shotgun formation. They're yeah. going to go for it. Oh, yeah. Why Snap, not? Cool's back. He's looking. Got some pressure. Oh, He's going to throw nice it downfield. He's got a man down there, and oh. he overthrows his intended receiver. I think that was uh, 34. That was, that was uh, Chaz, Chaz Pfeffer. Pfeffer. Yeah. Yep. Come on, kickers can't catch. <laughs> <laughs> He'd probably try to, he, he's not uh, used to catching with his hands. He's uh, a soccer player. Chaz he is, can't uh, touch it with his Chaz hands. Chaz is a good athlete. You know, you get to the high school level, kickers do all kinds of things. Yeah, the uh, Caldwell soccer team is uh, pretty good this year. They've only been beaten twice. Interesting. Yes, and one of those by a very good Studentville Central Catholic soccer team. All right, 11-16 so. left here in the ball game. Clock rolling to Naughton Valley with the football. Backup quarterback, Caden Leggett's in there. Snap to give straight ahead. That's uh, Luke Smith, the tailback. And, uh, excuse me, that's yeah. Noah Smith, the tailback. Yeah. That's his brother. I should just say Smith. I'd be right in any yes. event. Yes. So, gain number, of two on the play. Number 75 in the game, and he's not on our program. He's on? No. Blaine Hill. I've got it right here. Okay, good job. Change in number. Oh, good. Blaine Hill. Good. All right, leg at the quarterback, the snap, the give, straight ahead. That's Smith. That's Noah Smith. He's got a huge hole yep, up the middle. He's going to take it down into Caldwell territory right around the 30-yard line. Jared and Ben Fossen makes the tackle, saves a touchdown. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, if, if they get another touchdown and another two-point conversion, it's 35 points. Yeah. So the running clock could stop if they get it. If you know, I, I think that 35 is the limit. So it'll continue. No, it's 30. 30. 30. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Leg at the quarterback. The snap to give straight ahead. Smith again. Yep. He's going to pick up several yards before he's finally finally tackled there by Izzy Cool. Izzyk. 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 As in physic. Cool. That's, Tackle <laughs> by Cool. cool. <laughs> yeah. That's the easy way out. Tackle by Cool. <laughs> 88. Havison Petrie in there, the linebacker. 51 8, 9 13. Clock rolling here in the fourth quarter. Leg of the quarterback brings up the Rockets. Snap. Oh, that's a Busted bubble play. play yeah. and that was uh, number 23, Charles Decker, the fullback, getting the ball. Decker made something out of it, yeah. despite the fact that they ran into each other. It's uh, third down and right around one to go for the first. Uh, some good news. I see number 10. Is up. Zach Putnam yeah. for the Canton Valley Rockets is up and on his feet. That's a that, that's a good thing. Leg at the quarterback. They get oh, oh Redskins. And boy, number forty-four stepped up and yeah, put in, that in was down. that was Owen Hunt. Owen and, Hunt, and, yeah. Uh, boy, yeah. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Yeah, and I that think uh, Smith is still down. He is <laughs> because Owen Hunt. Uh, Smith looked up and he was looking at number 44. That's not a good up, thing. Up close and very personal. Yeah, when uh, when the defensive lineman's looking down at you, uh, that's not yeah. a good sign. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I think yeah, he's, he's, he's just shaking up yeah, a little bit. Yeah, so, and, and the good thing for Connaughton Valley is that they'll take Noah Smith out. They'll put Luke Smith in. Luke, yeah. It's close to the same thing. Yeah, looks uh, like he, the uh, Smith boys got to give them credit. They're tough. They are. They are good, tough. Good, they, they've got some good skill. Yeah. I, I like Cam Wright, the receiver. 
I like the quarterback putting them. Um, they their line play neat. I mean, yeah, lacking yeah. in experience. Uh, coach hit is, the nail is, on the head. Is being kind. Yes. Yep. Well, so, I, I think they're up against probably one of the better coached lines in the area. You know, if, if Chance Rucker does, I mean, that's his long suit. I think coaching offensive yeah. line. Yeah, Redskins, that's what he did at West Liberty. Redskins, no line play. They've got good linemen. They're dominating tonight on the line of scrimmage. Here's Luke Smith. Yeah, and he doesn't is not going to get the first down. down. No, he is stopped. Flag. Oh, flag comes a in. Little, little, a little late yeah. activity. Let's see Let's what see. that's all about. Let's see. Did somebody... The only thing I saw Personal. was number number 77 for Connaughton Valley. Personal foul. It's against, against Caldwell. Caldwell. We got a little bit of a late hit, I think, yeah. after the whistle. Yep. Yeah. So that's a Caldwell lumber first down for the Rockets the easy way. They don't get the first down on the ground, but they pick it up via the penalty. Via the penalty, yeah. Let's see. Is that half the distance or the whole 15? Yeah, half, half the, the distance. distance. Yeah. So that'll spot the ball at the 11-yard line. Caldwell Lumber first down. Actually, they're going to say that's after the play. That's going to give the Redskins the football. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So they'll mark the penalty off. Caldwell will have the ball. On their own 10. Dead ball. Is it cool the quarterback, the snap, the give? That's number 32. That's Sam Pierce Sam with the ball. Pierce again, yeah. Sam getting a little bit of work He's tonight. He's getting some action. And uh, my son said that he would probably get some action tonight. As he is uh, he is about uh, number three on the depth chart there. Well, I'm a little bit surprised not to see a little bit more of Gavin Leak, but they're probably going to let him heal up. As he, he was, I think he had some foot problems uh, early in the year. I have to check that out. I know my son said he was in. He, he was. Uh, he's been injured, it, and uh, they were. It seemed to me that I was told first game of the year that he, he had an injured foot. Yeah, he was out for two or three games. Here's Pierce again, and the yeah. Rockets are all over. No, that's Van Fossen. Van Fossen, yeah. And they're all over him, so no gain on the play. Clock rolling, 6.25 left here now in the ball game. Third down and five for the Redskins. Well, one or two, three more first downs. This, this game's this over. This game's over, yeah. Yep. Let's see what the Redskins got up their sleeve. Cool, the quarterback in shotgun formation. Flags. Uh -oh. I think he's Thank a little bit too much game. time. Yeah. Nope, procedure. Got a procedure penalty. Yeah, and Redskins looking like they're playing their young guys. Yeah. <laughs> Sixth penalty on the Redskins well, tonight. I, and this is this is part of growth right here. Growing and growing and growing, yeah. Anytime, like we keep uh, reiterating, uh, there's no substitute for experience. And that's exactly that, what the Redskins are getting yep, right now. Yep. 526 left in the ball game. Caldwell with a 51 to 8 lead. Backup quarterback is a cool in the shotgun formation. Snap, the give, that's Van Fossen. Yeah, and he's going to, to the outside. He's got some room. Yes, he's going to he take does. it to right around the, oh, he's close to a first down. Let's yes, see where they mark is. it. I think he's got the first down. Yep, Call, first and 10. Caldwell Lumber, first, first down, down, and no flags on the no. play. No. So the Redskins uh, unit getting pretty close to being able to run out the clock, Bill. 4.43, clock rolling and will not stop rolling. Cool the quarterback. Running the play clock down, good idea. Pierce and Van Fossen to either side of Cool the snap, the give, yeah. it's Van Fossen again. Cutting it back up inside, he's got about a six yard gain. Good run, 
Good run. Drums at the fairground, yeah. John. Drums, drums along, <laughs> along the Duck Creek. <laughs> All right, here come the Redskins. Caldwell, in its history, has had some very fine musicians and has a very, very strong music program over the years. Football not looking too bad this no. year. Is it cool? Here's Van Fossen now. The other yep. side, the left side. He gets the edge. Yeah, boy, he's close. I think he's got yeah. it. Yeah, he's got it. Yep. All the way down to the uh, Caldwell 34-yard line. Caldwell Lumber first down. 3.20, boy, John, one more, and I think, uh, yep, I think they start it. taking a yep. knee. And not very many of the faithful has left tonight either. Well, you know, when the Holton Town's winning like this, you kind of yeah. hang around. Oh, it. yeah. Why not? Social event. Hey, uh, I'll tell you what, next week is not, next week's going to be a football game. Should be a good one. Hey, you, you send your granddaughter, you get a granddaughter up for homecoming. Yes, queen. she's that. up for homecoming. Hey, that'll be a nice thing, won't it? Yes. Oh, here's the play yep. to the out. That's Pierce. Is that Pierce? No. No, that's 24, Landon Stevens. 34. Or er, er, 34. Jazz Pepper. That's, that was Jazz getting the chance to run the football instead of kick it. Kickers don't run. They don't catch passes either. <laughs> yeah. Well, that kind of proved out there, didn't it? <laughs> you know, we're, we're going to have to uh, talk about a play of the game, oh, a boy. drive of the game, yeah. and a player of the game. I, I have some ideas. You'll, I think you'll I, like. I think you'll like them. I've got some ideas. I hope it's so. A little bit different tonight than what we've been uh, we've been seeing. So, Redskins absolutely dominating, dominating this game. Yes. From the opening kickoff uh, all the way up through this uh, fourth quarter. Cool, the quarterback and gets it to Van Fossen. Uh, Rockets Boom. are all over that one. Yep. That'll bring up third down now for the Redskins. Well, if the um, Redskins are forced to punt, <laughs> looking like they might be, Connaughton Valley is not going to have a whole lot of time with the ball. No. So it, uh, the punt will probably be uh, immaterial, insignificant, won't count. <laughs> well, you have to keep in mind that you don't want to, you don't want somebody to return a punt for touchdown. Is it cool? The quarterback in shotgun formation, snap to give to Van Fossen straight ahead. Van Fossen's going to take it to right around the 30. That will not be near enough, near for, enough the first for the down. first down. Let's see if the Redskins go for it. I'll bet they do. No, I don't think they will. Under a minute to go. I, I think Cool will punt this football. What do you think? You said they go. I said they would go for it, and they are. Cool's the punter. Keep that in mind. Got 23 seconds on the game clock, or on this, uh, the the uh, 35 30. seconds on the game clock, and they are going to go for it, sir. Going to run that clock down too. Oh, penalty on the play! Imagine that. Yeah, and there, and the clock is running, so that's it. Yeah, they're going to mark off a five-yard yes. penalty, and Caldwell yes. is going to run off the field because that's going to do it. it. A pretty yeah. good, pretty good coaching there. Yep. Yeah. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ball game. Yeah. Well, they still got some ammunition down there. What about that? Yeah, they got plenty, plenty of black powder. <laughs> Final score here at the fairgrounds tonight. It is all Redskins. The final score, Caldwell 51, Connaughton Valley 8. We'll take a break. Uh, we will add up some of the final numbers, and we'll hand out some uh, game hardware right after this. 
Celebrating a decade of deliciousness, Patty's Place has been serving homestyle cooked meals since 2013. Indulge in their homemade pies daily and enjoy breakfast served all day long. They're open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Sundays. Don't forget to check out their Facebook page for daily specials. Conveniently located between Bell Valley and Caldwell on State Route 821. Come on over and satisfy your cravings at Patty's Place. Hello, this is Brian Chandler from Chandler Monuments. Every monument tells a story, and every story deserves to be told. Stop in and let our staff at Chandler Monuments help you create a lasting memorial for your loved one. We are the largest, most affordable monument dealer in the area. Our outdoor showroom provides you with the best granite at the best pricing. Contact us today at Chandler Monuments, 740-732-1311, or visit us on the web at ChandlerMonuments.com. Creating enduring memories, Chandler Monuments. Hi. I'm Crystal Reynolds for Cedar Ridge Behavioral Health Solutions. Our goal is to support health and treatment for you. And that is why we are proud to announce the opening of the Residence at Cedar Ridge, a 15-bed detoxification facility now open in Cambridge. We accept anyone in the state of Ohio and offer transportation. The Residence at Cedar Ridge will provide 24-hour care and attention based on your needs. To schedule an intake, call the Residence at Cedar Ridge, the first step to recovery. Call 855-692-7247. High School Football from BBC Sports on WWKC Caldwell, Cambridge. KC 105. I was sitting in my car and it wouldn't start. I lifted the hood and the engine was falling apart. What would I do? My eyes filled with tears. And on the radio, I heard of West 40 by pay here. Where for a little money down and a little each week, I could have a car, nice, shiny, and sleek. So I walked in the door and I put the money down. Now I got a nice car that I can drive around. West 40 by pay here will help rebuild your credit. The corner of Dewey and Route 40 in Cambridge, don't you forget it. West 40 Auto Sales, corner of Route 40 and Dewey Avenue in Cambridge, is home of a guaranteed credit approval, with most loans approved while you wait. Go to their website to fill out an online loan application, west40autosales.com. You'll also find their weekly special listed there. Chandler Funeral Home and Cremation Service not only offers the most modern and spacious funeral home in the area, it also offers the largest outdoor monument selection display. If you are considering a lasting headstone for a loved one, take a drive by Chandler Funeral Home to view their wide variety of sizes and colors. For personalized assistance in selecting your monument, contact Chandler Funeral Home at 732-1311 or on the web at chandlerfuneralhome.net. Choose comfort. Choose Chandler Funeral Home. Back at the fairgrounds, all Redskins tonight. Caldwell comes away with a 51-8 win over Connaughton Valley. And, uh, John, it it probably could have been a little bit worse. But uh, (laughs) Chance Rucker, he kind of called the dogs off at halftime, which was a good thing, I think. Yes. Yes. Yep. Did not need them in the second half. There will be no stats, new stats. Yeah, oh, they, you, they stand as red at the end of made, the first half. Made the decision, eh? Yeah, I, I kind of like that. So yeah, let's um, let's uh, go to uh, let's cut to the chase on some of these things that um, we're talking about right now with um, player of the game, game, drive of the game, play of the game, and uh, let's start off with the play of the game brought to you by King Carpet and Swim Away Pool and Spa. Uh, so we want to thank them for sponsoring this. And uh, we, we thought a little bit about this one, and we decided <laughs> that the play of the game uh, belongs to number seven, Alex Herlin. And, uh, John, uh, just, just tell them a little bit about what Mr. Herlin was able to accomplish in one play. Well, he uh, the uh, really uh, threat, first threatening drive of Connaughton Valley, they were inside the red zone, and they threw a pass to the corner. And, uh, Looked like he was open. Yeah, and he was for a second. And Alex Herlin came in uh, and uh, with his left hand, and only his left hand, made the interception. And it's something that, uh, you know, only an athlete uh, can do. So uh, 
you know, if you and, and I'm sure the Canton Valley <laughs> coaches yeah. said, you know, when things like that happen, what do you do? Yeah, you just throw you your just arms, throw up, your arms here. up and say, well, you know, we're up against athletes. Well, and here was the thing about it. Uh, the quarterback for the Rockets, number 10, Zach Putnam, he's a good quarterback. He fought off the rush, rolled out, finally had a little bit of space, set his feet, spotted his best receiver in the corner of the end zone, Cam Wright, had him open, threw a pretty decent pass down there, and what do you know, here comes Mr. Herlin with a quick pick. Yep, left-handed, one-handed, and returned controlled it, about, it and, con and returned it about 10 yards. Yeah, but no, I, think about, I think about 20 yards up the sidelines. Yeah, yeah. Then, two plays later, there's seconds <laughs> left in the first half, they score. Yeah, they score. Yep. And, and this was the great thing about this, and this is going to be our patrons Buckeye Mutual Insurance Company drive of the game. That's it. It's the one right before the half, and it showed a lot of discipline. Basically, yeah. the Redskins have the ball on the 20 yard line. They, they execute one play. Next play they is a play, it's a pass play right up the middle. And here comes Dylan Wheeler. He saw Alex Hurlin make that one-handed grab. So well, he, he decides, makes one. I can make a grab like that, too. Yep. He reaches out with his right hand, completes the catch one-handed, takes it all the way down the field to right around, what I think, about the 15-yard line. Yep. Redskins ran a play, and the clock is rolling, and John and I are thinking, yeah. okay, they're just going to let it roll to half. They were going to take a knee. Took a knee, and 2.5 seconds left, they called timeout. And... Went well, for the field goal. Here comes Two. Chaz Pfeffer and a 26-yard field goal. So Coach Rucker thinking about next week, thinking about the and, rest of the season. Yeah, saying, and the playoffs, uh, yeah, yeah, you need that. Hey, you got to have it. We've got a good kicker. Let's get him yeah. a little bit of experience yeah. here. And With so the field goal. 26-yard field goal uh, by Chaz Pfeffer is good. 51 mm -hmm. to nothing at the half. And from there... Coach Rucker took his feet off the gas pedal. Uh, he pulled all of his starters in the yep. second half. Nobody yep. played one down. Most of the key starters did not play one down they in didn't. the second half. They did. They played the young guys who wrapped things up. Connaught Valley able to get down and get a score here. Uh, probably, I think it was late in the third quarter that they got their score. Uh, made it 51 to eight, and that ended up being the final, final score, score. As nobody could uh, score any more than that. Uh, and. Post game report brought to you by Patty's Place. We want to thank Patty's yes. Place for sponsoring the post game report. Uh, hey, we've got another piece of business to attend to, uh, and that is our uh, plus one pizza player of the game. But uh, we're going to take we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back, and we're going to award that plus one pizza player of the game right after this. Chandler Funeral Home and Cremation Service not only offers the most modern and spacious funeral home in the area, it also offers the largest outdoor monument selection display. If you are considering a lasting headstone for a loved one, take a drive by Chandler Funeral Home to view their wide variety of sizes and colors. For personalized assistance in selecting your monument, contact Chandler Funeral Home at 732-1311 or on the web at chandlerfuneralhome.net. Choose comfort. Choose Chandler Funeral Home. People's Bank's vision is to be the best community bank in America. People's Bank provides local, hometown relationship-based banking with 132 full-service branches for all of your financial needs. As your community bank, People's Bank strives to make our communities a better place to live, work, and play. We would love a chance to earn your business. People's Bank. Working together. Building success. Member FDIC. Back at the fairgrounds in Caldwell, Redskins come away with a very easy 51 to 8. I almost said nothing. 51 to 8 victory tonight over the Connaughton Valley Rockets. Uh, John, we've only got one more piece of business left, and uh, we want to talk about our plus one pizza player of the game. And tonight, it's the defense that gets the nod. Exactly, and rightfully so, as Ethan Croc. Uh, lived in the Connaughton Valley backfield in that first half. I think he, he was in the Connaughton Valley huddle in the first yeah, half. <laughs> it, it would assume that way and uh, actually uh, deflected a pass. Uh, he had pressure on the passer on almost every passing attempt and uh, he was just unblockable uh, as far as Connaughton Valley was concerned. 
Yeah, Chase Norman had a good game as well, yeah. but we, we oh. kind of felt Ethan Kroc was super disruptive for the Caldwell defense. So he is our plus one pizza player of the game. Hey, it all adds up to a big Caldwell victory, 51-8. Yeah. Well, when you have somebody like Ethan Kroc who's devastating on the outside, then that leaves your interior lineman to get the job done too. So, you know what Ethan Kroc did, that eases it up for Jace Norman and some of those other guys on the inside. So you got to give it, you know, to Ethan Kroc. Absolutely. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. Want to thank our sponsors, John, uh, one more time tonight, uh, Boyd Precision Painting. Farmers and Merchants Bank, Sue Snowed, State Farm Insurance, Laborers Local 530, WB Green Insurance, Patrons of Buckeye Mutual Insurance, Flag Floors, Kissam Service Center, Guernsey County Sportsman's Association, Chandler Funeral Home, McVeigh Perkins Funeral Home, People's Bank, Doan Ford, Patty's Place. All these sponsors help bring us these football games, and we appreciate them absolutely uh, so very, very much. Without them, we're not here. That's exactly yep. right. And uh, so it is a good thing that we are here tonight. I uh, want to make sure I didn't. Oh, I, didn't wanna, I left, almost left and Davis Drugs Davis out Drugs of there. Out. Don't want to forget. Don't want to forget Davis Drugs either. So thanks to all yeah. these sponsors because without them, we're not here tonight. Want to thank our technical director Bryce Haynes. Want to thank our cameraman. Andrew Dunlap, I uh, want to thank you, John Seacrest, for providing color tonight. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, well, it, a lot of color. It was very, <laughs> it was, it was very colorful tonight, yep. no doubt about it. All adds up to uh, a great finish for Caldwell. They've got a 51-8 to victory over the Canton Valley Rockets. And next week, John, undefeated Barnesville comes, comes in. in. Yeah, that'll so be a good one. That's going to be a good one, no yep. doubt about it. We will be here on KC 105, I believe, the final score one more time. Nice. Caldwell 51, Canton Valley 8. For Bill Castler and the rest of the AVC sports staff, have a great rest of your okay. night. Okay. Hmm.